Anyway, so the thing is, everybody says, oh, Google, and you need to get out of the system. Yes, you need to get out of the system. But the thing is that your customers are in the system. So this is why we, we have the Google pages open. <laughs> By the way, this is the link. So this is kind of just, I'm just going to play around a little bit and show you. Uh, I don't know if the person who we were talking about wants to speak up or not, but it's up to you. So I thought, well, you know, are you going to be awake? Because we can just do this live that gives me some content, some something to chat about and something to do online. And maybe other people will get, um, you know, some, some information out of it. So the thing is, you have to create what we call breadcrumbs, like a bird with breadcrumbs. Okay. So you have to lay breadcrumbs because we don't live in 2000. Okay. Where, you know, the, before the internet was rewritten by Google. Uh, we don't live in that world anymore. We now live in a world that is completely Google. Everything is Google. That's why everything has a Google login. Google or Facebook or what's the other one? Well, like you can use a LinkedIn, uh, but they're all the same. It's all the same shit, same spyware. This is why you can log into all the websites using their APIs because they have written the internet. They control the whole internet as a whole. You know, they don't control individual sites, uh, but they... You know, they control, let me show you this because I've was i I've sh I've showed this many times, but people just don't believe me. Let me get that link. Now I moved it because I couldn't find it. So let's see. I moved it today. So it should be, should be here. There we go. So this company is called, the, we're talking about the webs and they don't control the webs, the you know, web pages and all that. So this is, I'll give you the link. And you can go along to Wiki, <laughs> Wiki Wiki, and you can look at see i have to use an anonymous window because i can't log into fucking google from 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 a normal account of fuck sex so i have logged in but just to so this is called endurance international group aig but i can never remember what the, the name is so i actually just have the link now so they don't control the, the whole internet no they just control most of it okay hold on a second where where is the list actually this is not the list uh there's actually a page. Hold on. There's a page that actually shows you all the. Maybe that. Unless they've edited it. Hmm. Maybe that. Maybe they've edited. Okay. Why is it going around in circles? Hmm. Huh. There was a place which showed that it's, it showed like hundreds of them. Maybe. Let's see look. Anyway, so so the point the point that so I was explaining to the person about like GoDaddy. No, GoDaddy is owned by the same company. You may as well go to the cheapest one because GoDaddy is not the cheapest. Okay, it's just the one that spends the most amount of. So this company owns uh, that company, this one, and they own almost every single host. Let's just read the chat because I haven't read the whole chat. What if the internet wasn't googled out, but you you simply couldn't find things anymore? What you can. That's why we used to have Artwork. Well, no, no, no. well, you won't know that one. Boy, you, you might know that one. But you'll understand it. Artwork. And we had Yahoo! <laughs> we had Yahoo! Go uh, search engines. And we had um, Nancy. And we had... Oh, I can't even remember. We had a lot of different... I don't know. We spelled it all like this. It might have been South African. Artwork, I think. That's how it was spelled. Um... So we had a lot of different search engines. So you, you, you just had to have a brain. You know, you had to have a fucking brain. If you couldn't find, you know, a different, like for example, Artwork was very good for local websites. Um, so we, so if we were looking for a, a South African company or Southern African company, Artwork was a good engine. You know, if you were looking for something else, you know, you would go to different websites uh, to search. Uh, back in the day, I was only allowed to browse websites for five minutes. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, you know. More, more parents should do that. Yeah, that's that. Yes, there was AOL, which was you know, <laughs> really crap. Let me just read what else have I missed. I've missed some. I've missed some. Some messages. I'm sorry if I've missed some messages. Uh, there would be just in case Nuke Amp launches. They have archived the old internet. We started it. Uh, yeah, no, Google's got a copy of everything. You just don't get to see it. They know everything. So if every typo and every they've got it, they've got a basically a static instance of everything you have ever put on the internet and deleted. They still have it. 
they have a copy of everything. Archive.org is just the one that we, we have access to. Um, right, let's scroll down. Yeah, there were a whole lot of them. Yeah, it, was a di well, it, was, well, it wasn't so much a dial-up cost. It wasn't that expensive, but it was very slow. And people just, what's this internet shit? Like, no, one's, no one's ever going to fucking use the internet. Why the fuck would I get the internet? Ah, this, is, this is just some stupid Bitcoin fad. <laughs> 14, 15 years later, yeah, <laughs> you could have been a billionaire, <laughs> just say. Um, so the internet was like that. So people just didn't use it. Like we went, wow. <laughs> we were like kids with a new box of toys. And it's like, wow. And like, whoa, I didn't expect to find that because there were, you could find a lot of like really scary shit on there. Um, it was like the, the, what people consider the dark web now. It was and it was the wild, wild west. And there were some websites you go, whoa, <laughs> I did not need to see that. And you just stumble across them, you know. Um, I don't remember what the costs were. In South Africa, where I was, uh, when it first started, they then introduced, it was a dial-up. So you paid for the phone call. But they introduced this thing that, first of all, was on weekends. So you could, if, if you could keep a stable connection, this is why I had a very old computer running Windows 2000 that could keep a stable connection. For the whole fucking weekend. So, so it, first of all, it was the weekend. So you, you could log on at, I think, 8 o'clock Friday night and then log off 8 o'clock Monday morning or 7 o'clock Monday morning. And you could have the whole internet for the price. It was 7 Rand, which would have been, these days, nothing. But in those days, it probably would have been like, I'd say probably like a euro. The like equivalent of about a euro. So you, for a euro, you could be on the weekend the whole, uh, you could be online the, the weekend. The problem is most people's pieces would crash the stuff like that so they would have to keep you know re redialing up no yeah i'm not stupid <laughs> so i i had a server so i ran a server it wasn't the server it was just my old, my very first old pc which sadly i no longer have hank would would, would have fucking flipped if he had but if he if he had if he had my old system he would fucking go, go i don't know why it's a fucking old pc but it was stunning it really was stunning i don't think i've got any photographs of it it was stunning it looked like a multi multimedia pc the old, old fashioned. Look like a hi fi. You could put it on the shelf and it had knobs like treble, bass, everything on the bottom. There were only six of them brought in the country, and I said, I have to have one. He said, But then, officer, I said, No, I want that one. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm buying that one. I said, Okay. I said, We're not, we're not, we, we brought it in, but we're not selling them. I said, I don't care. You have six. I am taking one of them. <laughs> and it was the best. Oh, I loved them. It had built in speakers into it. It was great sound. It was, it was wonderful. Anyway, so. Your old PC crashed this week. Why? I now use my retro PC to dial up to an old version of the internet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Are you crazy? Uh, the CMOS was reset and now lost the thing I did by accident. <laughs> uh, it made US booting fast and stable. Yeah, I, I, most of that stuff I would not remember anymore. I really won't rem wouldn't remember anymore. I would have to go look at all the DOS, uh, the DOS files and things. Uh, so anyway, so that's so the, the point is that there's a, there's a place somewhere which shows you, uh, uh, but it's not only, oh, yeah, but I, I, I'm almost sure maybe they edit, I mean, they're always editing and taking stuff out of, anyway, that's the mother company. That's how, that's how you find out who owns everything is by going to the mother companies and mother company. Um, The website's new fold? That's a weird name. <laughs> Another weird subsidiary company. Okay, so this, this, see, look, but there, there's, there, there, there used to be a lot more. Maybe they just shut them down. Okay, look, see, Bluehost, uh, I think GoDaddy's in there somewhere. Maybe GoDaddy isn't there, it isn't them, but it's the other one. It's the other competition. Uh, oh, Yoast! Hmm. I don't know. Uh, they bought got Yoast as well, which is the host gator. Um, Domain.com, crazy domain. They, they, wow. I think they've actually just shut down all the other companies. That's why they're in this thing, because they've literally shut everything down. But now, where is this company's name gone? This endurance group. Oh, wait. Uh, this company structure. Oh, it's different thing. But Go, GoDaddy is also owned by somebody else. I can't remember. Let's see. Uh, they're all owned by one or two companies. The whole world is owned by one or two companies. When you go to the top, uh, who's it owned by? Uh, 
I've got to remember, but the, the, I wish, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken with GoDaddy, but most of them are all. See, look, for a more comprehensive list, see mergers and acquisitions. Look, you see this. This is how. Okay, so actually, GoDaddy in this case, GoDaddy is the mother company. They've been buying up everything. Look, look at all the companies they've bought up. That's why I say when you host on the website, it's very difficult to find a host that isn't owned by someone else. So it may. It doesn't matter. Why am I off camera now? It's weird. So it, it, you have to actually find an independent. Like I, I always suggest, here's my affiliate link that nobody ever uses. Like I, I suggest, because like I've just had nothing but good service with them. I always suggest Geek, Geek Storage, because they are, at least at the moment, they're independent. They're not cheap, cheap, but they are brilliant. It reminds me a lot. I used to have a company called Delta, Delta Host. And they, they just shut down. They eventually sent me an email. I was there for like, I don't know, like 10 years. <clears throat> and they said, look, you know, you, you've got like this amount of time. Get off the server. I'm like, what? You can't do this? I've been with you for like 10 years. I said, well, yeah, we can't compete. The, all the companies have been bought. They are running shitty servers for dirt cheap and we can't compete. So we, we're going to go into something else. We're just not going to do hosting anymore. I said, can't you just keep me on? Because my site's like very low traffic. He said, no, we're just killing the whole thing altogether. Oh, fuck. So then I, I made a deal with them. They, they, they kept me on for like longer, like six months or whatever. I said, like, I don't know who to buy, you know, who to change to because they're all the fucking same shit. They're all owned by by the same companies. So they 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 did extend like for like six months or a year longer, you know. And then eventually I moved my website to to other places. Uh, so that that's part of the, this is part of the problem. It, this this is the Google Googleification of the world is in everything. Google is just one of the companies that has controlled the world. So anyway, so the, the, the topic is really uh, choose your host carefully. I have I given you my affiliate link. You don't have to use it. Uh, I I would I would actually recommend Geek Stories from my own experience. Like my websites, like um, uh, like bookcover.biz, which is my business site, which was down today. It wasn't down down. It was just wasn't working properly because the up, WordPress automatic updated, which I've now disabled, and it broke a whole lot of plugins which weren't updated because they weren't updating automatically. So it broke. So I had nothing on the page because I have, I have like, there's a lot of content on here. So they have all these tabs. And if the plugin's not working properly, then the tabs doesn't, don't load. There's nothing on there. So this is, this is, this is, this is running. You saw how quickly it loaded. Okay. That's, the, uh, that's, that's the one that's on there. They're both running on one, on the one host. Then on the cards. Okay. There's the site. So that's why I recommend Geek Hostage. You, you, if you pay for three years in advance, um, Hawk Host. I don't look at it actually. Let me copy that. I'll copy that into my to do, my stream to do stuff. I've got stuff in there that I haven't, haven't looked at. It didn't copy. Why did it not copy? God oh, damn it. No, don't, no, nobody moved the page. <laughs> nobody moved the chest, the, the chatbot. Copy, oh, pressing control V. Okay. Okay, put that into my stream folder. I have a look at it. So Geek Hosting is, is for me, is excellent because um, they, it's very responsive. Uh, and I'm running the two sites and I've just loaded both websites. Okay, so the, I've hit the server both websites at the same you know pretty much at the same time and they're both loaded where on my other one with mocker host it's a fucking joke I, I can't even do anything on the website because it bombs out so like i don't even do anything with my domain authors my author domains because I, I don't want to move them onto this hosting yet because i'm, I'm worried it's going to overload it i've got too many websites running off 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 you know too many automatic things and stuff running off once i don't want to do it so these are business accounts so i keep oh look at this there's me um so and I, I want you see I wanted to be able to load quickly so I haven't moved them over when, once I can afford it I'm either going to upgrade this one um, you know so it loads fairly quickly but oh, that goes out here yeah. um, uh, like like this one I always send people to okay it loads like if you go to my website the other website it often just doesn't load. I don't have a heavy website. That's the fucking. That's what. That's what pisses me off. Like, I don't have a heavy. It, it, it's very seldom that the website gets hit by heavy traffic. Very seldom because 
I do specialized things. It's only when somebody's looking, is actually Googling me and they're looking up, you know, what books has he written, um, then, you know, when you go to Google <laughs> and you type me, I come up, you know, because I'm famous. Because I, this one goes to Brave. See, look, <laughs> who's first? Me. <laughs> and this is an, this is an anonymous uh, browser. Look, see, oh, this is somebody else. Oh, somebody registered J. Roderick. That's interesting. Look, see, there's me on, 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 uh, on Amazon, which I'm not on Amazon anymore. There's John Roderick. There's Roderick Wikipedia. Interesting. But I'm first. If you go and Google, I'm like the dominate so the, the uh, Roderick James Architect. But if you go to Google, uh, yeah, so that that's part actually that's part of what we are going to do today. Okay, look, see? On Google's look, is it is me? You always you always see these pictures. That's the very old picture that I used to use. Uh, I'm not that young anymore. I'm not even that young anymore either, but I I haven't, I haven't bothered to change the picture. I can't be bothered. See? So then there's this one. This is, I think, there's a couple of people. But look, it's always me. Look, see? I don't even I don't even go to Pinterest anymore and it's still me. Look, see? Pictures? Tw tweets? That was the stuff that, that, that goes out automatically. So I'm saying there's a lot of automates on stuff. Uh, look, on Quora? On, tw on, on X? I've been X. On Scribe? Oh, God, I've forgotten about Scribe. Look. Books by me. See, so when people research me, this is like this is this is this specifically for the person. That I, don't, I don't know if you want to be an honest person, but the person I'm actually doing this for. This is what you need to do, and you don't do this overnight. I look very fresh. I think it's because I'm red. I should turn the fan up again because I'm either hot or I turn the fan up one more. I don't feel very fresh. I didn't sleep very well, and I slept very late, and then it's like. I've, I've I've remembered a passion. Maybe that's why I've remembered a passion that I've had all my life, and. I've never actually really been able to indulge in it, and things are actually cheaper now. But I still need about two hundred uh, odd euros to buy what I what I want. Which will, what will make me happy? When people ask me what will make me happy, well, about two hundred euros would, would would do it right now. <laughs> um, so th so this is part of wow. What's this? Look, see, ID crawl. I I don't even know this. <laughs> I don't even know these things. This is what I'm saying to you. So the all well. And good when your country is listed, not if not. What host gives you? Oh, I missed something. Oh, I don't know. I haven't looked. At, I haven't looked at the details yet. Uh, anybody who's looking looking for hosting, feel you know, feel free to go. I haven't looked at. I don't actually know it, so I can't. I can't comment. Uh, the one thing I do advise is do not buy into like Endurance Group, the GoDaddies, all of these companies because they are the problem. They have created the problem that we all face now. Don't give them your money. Go to people like Geek Storage, which gives you a brilliant service. Fucking brilliant. And it's not that expensive, especially if you pay for three years in advance. Okay. It drops the price down a lot. You, it literally is a few dollars a month. Hey, Nizo. So I read the comment that I didn't realize it was you because it's orange and Hank is also in orange. <laughs> so, so whatever you do, don't, don't, don't go to the, these, the big guys because they're fucking. I almost use the word that I I don't allow on my channel. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <clears throat> it starts with a C. Uh, if you if you try and type it, it'll be black. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be deleted or I don't know. You'll be timed out. I don't know. Ten gigabytes. You see, it's not. I I I see. I don't need space. I need I need that the site just fucking loads. Like I don't need lots of space because I I've been doing this for, for for decades. So I optimize my websites. I'm not one of those um, end users that just uploads a 300 terabyte video to my website. No, I will encode it down to about 150 megs max, depending how long it is. Then I upload that. First of all, it loads really quickly on mobile. It loads very quickly, you know, or I just put it on YouTube, you know, for that kind of stuff. So I don't need space. What I need is that that fucking loads. When people go there, let's say, like now I've posted my links, a couple of my links, that if everybody in the chat goes there, it's going to crash. Like, I don't, I don't hardly ever put my, my Roderick, if you type books, it will probably spit it out. Um, like, if everybody goes there, the site probably won't load for some of the people. It'll just time out. That's what I don't want, because I don't have a lot of data. Um, the sites are not massive, so I don't need, like, I don't need, I don't need space. 
most people do not need space unless you're host, hosting software and artwork and stuff like that, which I don't do yet. But I'm thinking of doing NFTs. I'm telling you that much. I've been thinking about it. I still don't know. I, I haven't really been doing readings, but I was doing a reading and I've I just kind of been decisive. And I'm tired of these fucking indecisive things. It's like, do this or do this or that. Just give me an answer straight, yes or no. Um, so then that would, you know, stuff like that starts to use up more data, like with images and stuff like that. But all my stuff is highly optimized to load. So I don't need space. I need bandwidth. I need it to just fucking load. Like, you know, when I load some of my pages, it just loads, you know, for relatively quickly. It doesn't sit there. Like if you go to my author website, it'll just sit there, you know, thinking and thinking. And then eventually, oh, look, this uh, this this uh, process is free. We also, you know, you could, it will load the website now. Not even necessarily un unlimited bandwidth. Just that it doesn't throttle badly. Because, for example, I don't get traffic. So if five people go there once, once in a month, I want them to load. That's it. That's all I need. Like when I'm working on 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 my my websites, I often have three or four tabs open. Like for example, one's open to the preview of my page that I'm editing because I do the I do the, all the HTML. So like when you go to my pages, which I've now don't no longer have. <clears throat> yeah, hold on. <laughs> Let me get the link. I know it's easy to type, but I'm no. <laughs> um, like so like. Like I have kept uh, like three, uh, I, I don't know, something I've always done. And it's just stuck with me ever. Like when every every paragraph, first paragraph is non-indented. It always has the first three words, because I like the rhythms of three, has lower um, um, small caps. So all the pages that you go to. So you can only do that with code. Uh, like if you go to any of the pages, um, they always, so that, hold on, what have we done? That's. So if you go there, it's styled the same way. See, they've got the same styling. So that you need to use code. So I have to have a page open with the code that I'm doing. Um, then I have a page, I'm previewing it. Sometimes it bombs out, breaks, and I have to go figure out where the fuck the code is broken. Or I'm just trying to see what WordPress will actually do. Because sometimes the code just doesn't work because over WordPress overwrites the code. So you have to find a way to... Do I've actually got some plug plugins just to prevent WordPress from doing... from doing certain things like it's like why do i need a plugin just to stop wordpress from doing this you know so the code will work um so so the, so i usually have at least two browser windows open then i might have another one open like when i was doing blog posts because i'm uploading images and then i am like working back so by the time i have three browser windows open with the old host called mock host it just stops working after a while and I keep refreshing and, you know, saving and it, it, it automatically saves the page. All of that it stops the website from working. No, you don't. This is what this is what this all goes back to. Now, like you go back to Google. <laughs> this, uh, you know, I, I didn't mention it because I didn't know if you, you wanted uh, people to know we were talking, you know, privately. It was about you. So okay, let's just close all the endurance company brands. We don't need all that. And this, this is what I was just showing you. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> what we looked at in private. Let me actually, I don't have the link now. Hold on, maybe I can still pull it from uh, Discord. Because I've closed the other browser. Let me go to up, uh, get the link. Uh, like, and I was just showing you, this is how you get Google to find you. So you have, like I have on, okay, so I have, I have on the cards. Okay, so that's my, that's my brand for the spiritual stuff. So it's still my name on it, but that's the OTC on the cards. So I have that link on the dot cards, which is very difficult to rank for because it's a very popular English phrase. What's on the cards? You know, that's why I use the, but it's a double-edged sword. Okay. So then I showed, uh, I was showing him like, for example, like the, the pages I've showed you, like uh, I have the one, like what to ask a psychic. Like then I have the LinkedIn one. Okay. Let me just looking for the, uh, I don't think it's actually got a custom link. So that's why I was looking for the actual code. So this is the... Oh, you fucking have to log in. Oh, God's sake. Oh, I can't remember what the login is. Hold on, let me just... Let me do this. Let me, let me try. They, they make you change your password so many times. I actually don't know. I have it written down somewhere. Uh, so that one's been changed. <laughs> Let's see if it's this one. Yeah, maybe it's this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me start again. 
Because every time I change it, I just keep changing it to the next very, to like the more difficult variation. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, stop logging. Uh, I can forget it. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I'm fucking so sick and tired of this stupid this shit. Anyway, so that lo th that was a page that I created because I thought I came across it and I was d a lot in LinkedIn because I was looking for work. Then I gave it up as a bad joke because it just doesn't work. Um, so then I realized, wait a minute, I should have pages on LinkedIn. So I created that one. Okay. So when you, and I think like on, like on that search, like here, you can see like it, it finds X, finds me on X. Okay. It finds me on Scribed, which I don't even use anymore. Uh, Goodreads. Okay. As an author. Uh, it also came up with Instagram somewhere, like Instagram. Now I also have, uh, I now also have, if actually I can just type it, it's, I know I don't think it will. Um, I didn't set a trigger for that one. Oh God, let me get the link for that. So th this is just to show you how you create breadcrumbs. Now, dead breadcrumbs aren't very good. Okay, so you need to create, oh, let me get the link. So then I've got this one. Okay, which I kind of started. I don't really have the patience or the time. To, I haven't done much with it. Okay, but the breadcrumb is complete. Okay, I did do the one reading for the. Oh God, fucking, he's all anonymous. There's a browsers because it wouldn't allow me to get into Google thing. So I have it's branded again. It's called on the cards. In fact, the link is on the dot cards, which is the same as my website. Okay, <clears throat> it was available on the cards. One word wasn't. So I use the dot because it's the same as the, no, but I have to use private, uh, private view because this won't load. <laughs> now I've lost the head. Oh, wait, here. Yeah. So I, I can't get to this page. Okay. Because it just, it keeps wanting me to change my password. So I said, oh, fuck it. I've logged in on the other browser and the other profile. So I'm not going to change my password just so I can do this online. So I just did an anonymous, an anonymous uh, private view. But then I, it, it won't show the other browser we have got. So I have to use everything. Once we're done with this, then I can move to, to back to the other browser. So this is the breadcrumbs I'm showing you. you know, uh, this is how you create a brand. Okay, Not by creating fake, empty profiles. So a lot of people are stupid. Like I've said that to them for 20 years. It's like, oh my God, how many times do I have to tell people? They just go, oh, I'm just going to create a, an Instagram account. I'm going to create everything. They never ever go back. They don't even put like on here. Look, I'll zoom in so you can see it. What does it say? Look, there's my name. Why? Because you can find it on Google. <laughs> we are OTC on the cards is not that Googleable yet. It is. I'll show you in a little while. Okay. So what does it say? Astrologist and psychic, because that's the only fucking tag, the only like group I can put myself under on Instagram. I'm not a fucking psychic. I don't call myself a psychic. But that's the the, the, I forget what it's called. It's like, I don't know what they call them. It's, it's like a tag or, or a group. Like a, anyway, so, the, so it's, a, so it's got my usual tagline, which is a spiritual journey into cartomancy with a hashtag, okay, uh, with Joe Roderick, because that account manages this account, and that account is me, and this, and this account is also me, okay. Workshops, tarot, re uh, tarot readings, these are all keywords that, uh, hashtags that you use on Instagram. Spirituality, guidance, and then the link tells people where they can go to get a fucking reading from me. You know, there's no point in creating fake profiles. I call them fake profiles because they're empty. Okay. Even if you don't go back to them, okay, you must have a way for people to get hold of you. It doesn't help you to open, oh, I'm gonna open up an Instagram account, and then you never fill it out. Fill out the profile. Put your logo. Like I don't I haven't done that much with it. I'll be honest, I haven't done that much with it. Let's just zoom back out. Okay. But I've, 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 I've let some pictures that I normally post to my normal Instagram account, I, I sort of posted on today just that there would be something. Okay. I did I did this, which is an advert. I also, oh, fuck's <laughs> whatever. Um, and so I cre it's like I created a little advert for my tarot planners. Okay. Um, I also did one of those, what do they call them? Reels. Well, it's not a reel. It's, I don't know, one of those stupid fucking things that just give it different names, it's the same shit. Um, so it was like an advert that ran for a little bit. I mean, not, not a paid advert, it just, it just what do they call it? Uh, shorts, I don't know, something like it. So that it kind of just cycled through the pictures and kind of had, it was like an advert to the thing. So I have a little presence here. Yes, it's not up to date. Okay, this was just, I'll say, this is real food. This is one of those posts. I can't click on it because it went open. So, and I, I post it because I, I post stuff like that, like that's a pineapple. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's food. You know, what you buy in a squeegee, squishy tube, that's not food, that's paste. That's, that's, that's you know, rubber. 
<laughs> so like I, that's the kind of things I post to to to, to Instagram. Actually, the ins other Instagram will load on this window, but it won't load. But I'll have to switch the browser. So we'll just do that temporarily, so you can see it. Let me move that to the side. See, so you see, the, like those pictures were, were repeated. The others, this is like my personal profile. Then I created a a profile picture. This one, this one will open. Okay, which is which again has got the cartomancy, the tarot, the spirituality. I didn't over go heavy on on the the uh, hashtags. Okay, and it's got the link to the profile. So this one links to the other one. Okay, and it's got it. It's tw linked there twice. Look, see, it's showing the preview. Oh, that's all. I think sometimes it shows a preview. So I can click from this one to the other account. Okay, so that, uh, not, a few people followed me on this. So this is now we back to the other one. This one I am logged in. So now I can actually click. Um, you see, so it's got, again, look, on the card, because I couldn't get to the, the plural, so my Etsy account is on the card without the S dot Etsy. Okay, and you can copy and paste it. Okay, you can't click on it, but you can copy and paste it. Okay, it's also relatively easy. You can go like to the front page and you can go to my website. Which at the moment I actually don't, I don't think I have. Hold on. Go home. Oh, wait, you're on. Um, I don't think I actually got any links on the main page to Etsy, but you don't say. So let me just go back so I can go back to the Discord and go back to the other bra. Close. Oh, now it's decided to remove it anyway. Great. Okay, lovely. So let's go. Uh, where's the other one? Where is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. Press OK. Because otherwise I won't be able to do the Google page on... I won't be able to do Google page on the other one. Check the redeems. I, I saw some of them weren't working properly. Which redeem did you? <laughs> We're not doing card readings. I don't even have, I don't even have the camera on. <laughs> uh, okay, so... So that's that's what I was showing you. You need to create these breadcrumbs. Now, obviously, I have more than the average person because I do a lot of things. I've written number north. Da, 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 da. So, but this these this is just to show you the breadcrumbs. If you do multiple things and they sort of kind of related, link them. Okay, like get articles written by the people. If you know, like like say reviews, like Barney. You let me scroll back down. No, he's not a what fruit fruit. Uh, I've missed something. <laughs> um, so, so this is just showing you how you create the, the bread links, and I've showed you like with the profiles, like oh no, like on here I haven't got that post that I showed you that had the link to my new account because people say, oh, I've started a new account. Like, yeah, what's the fucking link? How do I get to it? Like, why do I have to go and research to find your new account to follow you for your benefit? No, make it easy. Put a link. So, like on Instagram, you can actually at the person. Futanari, fut chick with a dick. I don't know what that means. Fruteria. You're talking about fruteria. That's this. Uh, I can't because I can't open the the um, the thing. No, it's a fruteria. Fruteria is fruit. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so that, so now you're beginning to understand. I don't know. <laughs> It's not really my kind of topics I research. <laughs> uh, you see, so now, now Barney, if you, if I was a fruit, largely, I actually, I've realized mostly I eat fruit, but more, almost everything is a fruit. Even salads are fruit, like tomatoes, peppers, um, the coyote, with the, what they call the Mexican pear, pear which is, they consider as a vegetable, but it's actually a fruit. These things are all fruits. There's, all, there's very few things that are actually vegetables. Like um, carrots, which is really a root. Um, most things are actually fruit. So I actually did I am mostly a fruitarian because I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, like potatoes are roots as well. I don't have potatoes at the moment because um, like I don't have a microwave and it's just too much of a mission to make them on the stove. I do have a pot now. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually have a pot. It was so funny. I was joking. I think, who was I on? I don't know if it was on Musa or for, I don't know, somebody, there was only a few people I followed. So it was only a you know, Musa. It wasn't the Musa though. I think, I don't know where it was. But like I bought the pot 
Yeah, this is a big event because I never had money to buy any. So I bought, I finally bought a pot. And I thought, well, it's not a very big pot. It's probably about that big. Um, so it's enough to, it's, it's deep enough to kind of use to boil. And it's, and it's not too deep that you can't fry. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have some fried eggs. So like, I cracked the eggs in. And then like, oh, fuck. My spatulas, every, my, all my kitchen stuff is in the drawer back in Ireland. When I just left, I left everything behind. I'm like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> I've got frying eggs and I've got nothing to like. I mean, it's, it's like a, it's one of those nonstick pans. I'm like, oh, crap. That means I'm going to have to go and use again. I did this last time in Ireland. I've got this, this used to be a relatively clean spatula that I use for my blender when I make mayonnaise and stuff. So I, can, so I don't scratch the plastic. I use this very soft silicone. <laughs> so I had to kind of use that. I try not to get it to touch the heat too much. I wouldn't burn. I thought, oh, that's good. You bought a pot and you didn't buy a spatula. <laughs> so I couldn't. So yeah, that, that, was, that was kind of a funny story. Anyway, but back to this. These are the breadcrumbs. You need a brand. Okay, like Musa Patty Savage Terror. It's too long. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking, but he has Musa Patty. Okay. So he could create a website called Musa Patty. Okay. Um, this is what I'm saying. You need to have a common thread. You can't just call yourself uh, Musa Patty uh, Savage Tar Tarot and then on your website you're called Angelic, uh, Gentle Angelic Tarot and then on Instagram you call yourself, uh, I don't know, what's that, Futanaria, the Chicks with Dex Tarot. You can't do that. Because people don't know who it is. It's just somebody, other random site. It has to be identifiable. So like, I always, yeah. But no, don't change it because we know who Muso is. So if I if I had to come across you on Google for some reason, I would know who Muso Paddy was. I, I would know because this is why I, I was talking to Bonnie. Don't keep restarting stuff because people, people are fucking lazy. If they can't find you, they won't look for you. That's it. You know, you, you're gone. You know, it's, it's like I can't be bothered. Uh, so, like Musa Patty, no, I, I, I wouldn't. I like Musa Patty. I'm saying it's like a Musa Patty. Uh, I wouldn't, for example, create a website. I wouldn't register dot com like Musa Patty Savage Terror. I would call if I could. I would get a Musa Patty or Musa Patty Terror or Patty Terror. I would use, but that's in the name. You see, the the, the name is slightly different, but it's. It's still part of the name. So when you look at it, like, like I was showing you, when you look at, like this is actual Google. I don't use Google unless I'm researching. Like if I look, Roderick or Roderick, like, <laughs> like if you, you see, look, look, Joe Ramirez, Joe Rogan, Joe Rod, Joe Rodriguez. Uh, so as you start typing, Roderick Johnson. It starts giving you suggestions. But if you just search for Joe Roderick, I, I dom especially specifically on Google, I dominate it because I've been working at this for many, many years. I keep saying to people, do not wait to start this. It takes years to get this kind of... Uh, and I did it because I, I used to... Look, there's a woman, I think she's, she's, she's the other Joe Roderick who, who's a movie producer and I always come before her because she hasn't done her work. And I've been around for much longer and I own the website. <laughs> I own the domain. Okay, I didn't get roderick.com and I didn't register it in time, so I didn't get Roderick. I think it was .biz. But I have JoeRoderick.com uh, and JoeRoderick.net, which I can't remember where it points to now. I've changed it. I don't remember. Um, so, you know, all these pointers, look, they're all pretty much all me except for this one. I don't know who that is. <laughs> they're trying to show some different people. But look, you see, it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it, it, the search will be different every time. But mostly, I'm on the front page. Now, it's starting to show me different uh, uh, links because I've searched several times. So, it's, it, Google's thinking, okay, maybe he doesn't want Joe Roderick. He wants other people. So, he's starting to show you different things. Um, let's, say, so let's say if I type books. Because that's what that's what you guys would, uh, let's just try Roderick. Oh, and I spelt, it, I spelt myself wrong. <laughs> that's why it's not finding me it still found me look you see look i spelled my name wrong and it still found me look but the first link is no that's not me that's actually no that one's not me that's her but it still found me look this is me it still found me even though it's spelled wrong because i am important okay let's say most of you would like if you were going to look at my books you would type roderick books like rick i don't know who the fuck rick roderick is Roderick is a very common name. So if you just type Roderick Books, guess who comes up? Apparently not me. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. 
Used to. It, dep- it kind of depends. Uh, for some reason, it's finding Rick, uh, Rick, this Rick person, which is, I think, maybe he's new. Or at least new on. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Maybe because I've, I've, I've searched so many times, it's it actually literally is starting to give me different results because I'm not clicking on any of the results that it gave me. Let's try John. So th- that's fading on that point of view. Look, there we go. Okay. So if you went to, to and you just typed in, okay, I want to know what the what kind of kind of bullshit this this fucker wrote. Okay. And you're right. Look, there are the pictures. Look what what, look what it says. Joe Roderick, writer. Okay. I'm not a writer. I'm a fucking author. You moron. I've published the damn things. Look on Amazon, which no longer there's no longer books there. Goodreads. Okay. It it starts telling. You, it's my my own, look my website. There we go. They're hammering on the walls of fucking again. Like, why, where do they find so much to fucking hammer? Um, all right, let me just read the chat. I'm my money is music. Hey, Jamie, what are you doing up so late? Five o'clock. What are you doing up at? Let me let me call her out. Jamie, 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 come sit over here. Two in the here. morning. Yeah, I thought you'd all be asleep. Oh, more hammering because you know they're not. They're, there's still some walls standing. I don't know what the fuck is with these people. They they fucking hammering all the time. I got him. Anyway, uh, Muso, I'm not a tech whiz. I get bored of the tech stuff after an hour. Yeah, but you need to create some breadcrumbs if you want to turn this into business. If you're just doing it for for shits and giggles, it doesn't matter. But if you actually want to create a business, these are the things you must do, or you will not succeed. There's a, like there's literally like almost zero percent chance you will succeed. The only way you'll succeed is if you have a huge fan base. I'm talking huge. I'm not talking about five people on Twitter. On, on Twitch, I'm talking about hundreds, hundreds, if at least hundreds and thousands of people who who like you, okay. Um, or you get extreme luck, and just by you just become famous overnight by extreme luck. If you do not do these things, you, you your chances of success are almost zero. Now, again, I advise against creating lots of accounts, okay. If you're going to create lot, and accounts in different places like Instagram, da 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 da. If you do do them. Like I showed you the on the cards one, which I started. I will go back to it. Okay. Fill it out. Okay. Make it clear who is this person and how you can get hold of me. So if I don't respond on Instagram, which I check every at least every day or two, I, I just switch the app on and I go through it. Okay. There's the link. They can go to my website, which is where I want everybody to go to. That is the home page. Remember, Bonnie, I was talking about the home. Home is not Twitch. This is not home. Okay. This is not my home. My home is that website. Because that is where I can make money. This here is just free entertainment for people. That's why I send you to my home page. So everything you put on the web sends you to one place. That's why it brings us back to the Google Sites. Because for most people, this is a free, free thing you can create that is automatically inside Google. Oh, for God's sake, stop it with a fucking banging. It's, I don't, I, what can they be banging? It's just they're always fucking, they're always banging. I hope this is, they're not making stuff downstairs because I'm seriously, I'm going to complain to the to the owner because this is fucking nonsense. I work online. I mean, I, haven't, I know I haven't been online much, but this is fucking nuts that they are fucking hammering every fucking day or drilling into the walls. I mean, it's like how many walls are left downstairs to drill into? It's, there must be like, like Swiss cheese. Uh, all right. Yeah, because it's so late for you, Jamie. I really didn't expect that. I kind of just did it because I thought, instead of, oh, for fuck's sakes, this really pisses me off. It's like, seriously, what can you be hammering? Joe has hair. I have hair. Oh, you mean the the, the goatee here. Yeah. Also, I haven't shaved, so you, it doesn't stick out very much. This is all white, so it doesn't really stick. So that's the thing. You've got to create this bread. That's vibrations. But that's somewhere else. That's somewhere out in the street. <sighs> They're trying to grab me crazy. Yeah, a little bit. No, it's too late. <laughs> so these are the breadcrumbs I keep talking about. Yeah, people like the beard, but it doesn't feel good. Trust me. It doesn't feel good. Uh, it's, 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 it's not too bad at the moment because I trimmed it recently. Um, you know, when I trimmed this up because I can't drive very long. It, it, it's, it's actually painful. It's actually very sore. 
I have to wait for the for, I, don't, you, I don't know if you can hear it, but like the, things are just vibrating. I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like it could be out one of the other properties. That doesn't sound like that sounds this. So I can't complain too much. Um, uh, off topic. How is Mexico for spiders? Oh, I don't know. I don't worry. You see, I don't live in fear. I don't worry about things like, like for example, I don't, I don't not go to Australia because the, the the line is everything in Australia is trying to kill you. I would just go there. I don't worry about these things. So I don't know. The answer is I don't fucking know. They're very small. <laughs> the ones in the city are tiny. I sometimes see one. This, I've got two of them in my my um, uh, um, plates covered. I don't have many plates. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, they set up house. Yeah, I don't know. I, just, I open the cupboard and I look at them and say, what the fuck are you doing in there? Are you fucking nuts? Like, what do you expect to find in here? <laughs> they, 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 they just they just hang it around in the cupboard. So I just leave them. They're very, they're very, very tiny. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I point. Also, look, all the, all, the, the, the the spiders that you, they were very, very small, they say are the most toxic. Yeah, they are the most poisonous. So like very, very small spiders. They also say that the very big spiders find it difficult to actually bite you or to, you know, to, to inject it so the very small ones apparently can i don't know i don't worry about shit like that for some reason i have a lot of centipedes here i don't know how the hell they get into the flat they somehow get in through the bathroom so yeah i don't know in terms of i don't i don't know what will kill you here i don't know actually and coconuts <laughs> i wish I, I wish i had um i could I don't think I've got it installed on this one. Like I had, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, and what droid, droid cam. So I could go to the window with my phone, and <laughs> but I'd have to set it all up. Uh, if one of the old phones actually worked, I'd actually do like a, I don't, I don't, I don't think I got the picture anymore. I think it's on the old phone. I took a picture because like now on that side there, that property on that side, where my windows face out, they, they it's just overgrown. It looks like a jungle. It looks like this 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 ruined temple underneath all this greenery. The problem is that soon I won't be able to see out to the main streets. It's, it's just grown like fucking crazy. And they've just left it. So pretty soon I won't be able to see out my windows. It'll just be a jungle outside. And it's pretty quick. It's raining every day and it's like hot and humid. <laughs> Tropical climate. So I don't really know uh, what will kill you in Mexico. Not much really. I don't, I don't I'm surprised there actually aren't that many spiders. There are a lot of little lizards, but they, I think they also don't survive because I don't know why they come in here. I don't know how they get, oh, now they're drilling again. Can you hear that? I suppose you can hear when I'm, when I'm actually, I'm literally, I, if, if this continues, I'm actually the two going to complain to the owner. I say, I fucking work online. You know I work online, okay? These people are just constantly drilling every day and, and hammering and, and I don't know what the fuck they are doing. Like, I'm really getting pissed off now, you know? It's like, stop it with the fucking drilling and hammering every fucking day. Because if they are making furniture and shit downstairs, I'm going to get fucked with very... There we go again. This one actually might not be inside. I actually suspect that might be outside. Because it doesn't sound like it's inside. It could be the neighbors or something. Christ. It's so loud. I don't know how loud it is for you guys. I can hardly hear myself think now. No, this is inside. I had the one here in. I actually feel like going down stage. You know, the whole world can hear you. Do you want to stop now? But I see. I don't know if I don't know if they are like still re renovating downstairs or what the fuck they're doing. But they're constantly doing this. Sometimes it's like six in the morning. Sometimes it's eleven o'clock at night. I seriously, I'm going to complain to the guy who works for the owner oh, and I'm going to say, "This, this has got to stop." You know, I work online. These people cannot be building stuff like continuously. How the fuck am I going to work? Lawn, loud lawn mower guy. I totally love people who gift. <laughs> Let me come over there and give you a hug, and kisses too. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. <laughs> Can you hear it from me. Yeah, no, it's fucking ridiculous. It's sometimes they're working on the other houses, but th that one sounds like it's actually it's reverberating through the building. The problem is everything is concrete, so they are below me. So whatever they are doing on the walls below just goes straight up the fucking walls and vibrates up here. You know, I was lucky when I first, I think for the first month, there was nobody downstairs. But I, I don't know what they will keep drilling. I'm going to tell the owner, listen, you're, gonna, you're not going to have a house left. 
I, I'm going to end up living downstairs because it's going to collapse because they, they drill every fucking day. Maybe that will stop it. Maybe they, they're going to have a way that you need to stop drilling all the walls. I don't, then I don't know. I don't know if, if, if the, 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 they have permission to, to, re to renovate and stuff. I don't know. They've been, they've been painting and I think they were doing tiling. I don't know. So I don't know. I do know that like, I really want to move now. But if I move from here, I want to move. I want to have a car first and I want to move out into the country. I don't want to live in cities. There's 200,000 people here, for God's sake. It's a fucking island. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I, I, you know, during the day is one thing. But you don't start fucking doing this st stuff. It's like seven in the morning when people are sleeping. You don't do it at eleven o'clock at night. You just don't. No fucking place in the world do you fucking hammer on the walls randomly, like a, yeah, or drilling into the walls. You don't do that at night or, or early in the morning. You do it during the day. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Tijuana, no, Tijuana, Tijuana, no, problemas. No, I'm not going anywhere near the United States. No, I like it down here. Down here, it's very far from the States. <laughs> it's very far from the States. So the further you are from the States, less problems there. The the, the border towns up there, is, yeah, they say, oh, then they're knocking again because you know they haven't drilled enough. Um. So the Mexicans will say to you, the, 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 the best places in Me the quietest places in Mexico are furthest away from the, you know, the border. Because, you know, the drugs and you know, all the idiots trying, you know, coming across the border from, from, from the north, not from the south. Um, so, yeah, they say that it's, like, it's, it's better here. Camp Campeche is much quieter. It, I think it's also probably more traditionally Mexican because of it's just not that touristy. I mean, I don't, I've never seen tourists on this island. I've been here for four or five months. Um, if you go up to Cancun, then that's different. That's very European. You, you know, they speak Portuguese, they speak French, they speak also, they speak all the languages that the Europeans speak because they go there on holiday. Um, so there's a lot of tourists up in Cancun. I don't really know. I don't go swimming in the ocean. I, I oh, God's sake. I literally, I'm going to go downstairs with the earphones. I said, do you know that I'm live? I just I totally let you let you know, you know, I am transmitting to the whole world your shit, your noise. Anyway, they wouldn't understand because my Spanish is not good enough. So I don't know. I don't really know. You mean like the temperature or you mean like just swimming or. <laughs> yeah, I, it's live. I'll show them on the phone. You, you see, keep hammering. You see that. Can you hear it? <laughs> yeah. So can the rest of the world, you fucking knucklehead. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, I know when I flew in, it looked kind of muddy, but it, 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 you know, it's a gulf. So, you know, maybe it was just the tide. It didn't look, it didn't have this like, you know, postcard aqua look, you know, uh, when I flew in. It was early in the morning, so that could be it. So I don't really know. I don't know how clean. I don't really know. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, that's, I suppose one can look this up. Um, I also, I would assume, this is again an assumption, that the surge has to go somewhere because we're on an island. So I'm assuming that the surge goes, goes out to sea. I don't know. It can't go backwards because backwards is the lagoon. So they can't pump it backwards. So I'm assuming they probably pump it out to sea. Uh, I'm not sure. So I don't know. Those are weird questions that I've, that I've never thought about. I mean, I mean, I just thought about it just very lightly. So I don't know. There are places where the, the coast might be a little bit more dirty. But you see, the things what you've got to think about is, um, at least my experience of here, is that Mexico is not very, very populated. So there's a lot of open, open, you know, spaces. So, you know, it's not like in Europe where every five meters there's a new house and every 10 meters is a new city and every you know, 20 meters is a new country. That There isn't as much of that density, so it's more spread out. So I'd imagine probably most of the coastlines would be relatively decent. I think outside, like like for example, probably you know hot spots like Puerto Vallarta or um, El Capuco would be probably unless they took a lot of measures to, to keep it clean would probably be a bit more more polluted. Um, I yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I actually have no idea. Um, I tend not to do much going out unless I go out walking to something I need to do because it's just so hot. I actually think, I think, in a way, I'm looking forward to when winter comes because it'll just be like summer and it won't be that hot. 
<laughs> it'd be just like normal summer weather and then I could actually start doing more walking. I'm back in touch with my former boss. My friend has hot to him. That's a weird comment. Are, are, are you are you are, are you are you back in touch with him so your friend can 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 get in touch with him? You 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 are the broker. <laughs> matchmaker, matchmaker. Right, so anyway, so I was just gonna, I was just showing you. So those are the breadcrumbs. Socially progressive. See, it depends how you look at it. Um, conservative, I'd say probably. I'd say probably conservative. But you see, I think it's conservative but tolerant. That's kind of my impression. It's like, in other words, it's it's conservative but tolerant. That like they don't. Like they don't, they don't make these things a big thing. It's kind of, you just live your life. As long as you're not affecting other people, generally they just let you, you know, they might not understand some of this, like especially the Western shit. They don't really, yes, it is It is very, it is quite Catholic. Um, I'm going, oh, for God's sake, are there no Mayans left? <laughs> we are the Mayas. We have got <laughs> Bring me some Maya. <laughs> I know they're here. I just can't find, well, they won't be here. In, in They wouldn't, they probably wouldn't be here on the island anyway. They wouldn't be in this area. Um, uh, but it, yeah, there, there are there are quite some of them are quite religious, um, thanks to the Spaniards. They, yeah. uh, you say no more about that. Um, so yeah, they, they 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 are quite they are quite religious. I wouldn't say they're necessarily Catholic. I mean, they are. They, it, look, Catholicism is a big thing here, but it's not necessarily they're Catholic, but they are very Christian based. You know, uh, there's more fucking banging because we don't have enough banging. I literally, if it carries on, because now I'm starting to actually run out of patience. If this continues, I'm actually going to go the owner. I'm going to say, listen, is this going to continue? Because you know I work online. And they're always banging, they're always drilling. So what are they doing? Are they, are they going to finish refurbishing? Are they building furniture? What the fuck are they doing? I mean, how many walls can you be knocking into? You know, if there was water damage, by now that should be finished. Anyway. Uh, that's what you want the whole not making it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, 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 I'm I, trying to gauge, for example, like w what is kind of the general attitude towards gays, you know, trans, all that. Like, they have it, you have it on adverts and that. Like, I watch you, your streams and like, I will get ad, for example, I will get edge, uh, L, L, LGBT, LGBT people, I can't remember. the rest is not gay anymore. The rest is just a propaganda thing. But the LBGT stuff, like, I will actually get adverts. Um, you know, talking about safe places and things like that. So, but I think in generally it's not, mostly, mostly people are just, they just live their lives, you know. So I, th I think, I think, I don't know, I, I haven't really had any, any real issues. Mostly I find people are just curious. Like, why is this gringo here? What's he doing? Where's he come from? And can he tell us interesting things? That's generally the approach. Like, I, f I find they're just curious. Like, why are you here? Not, not like like what the fuck are you doing it like like that's what I got in Ireland. It's people like why are you here? What like why are you trying to take our jobs? You know, um, no here they're just like why did you come here? <laughs> like what brought you here? Like why would you come to Mexico? Like what why did you come to Mexico? And where do you come from? Like what's it like there? You know, and it's, so that's kind of the attitude like at least here in Ciudad del Carmen <clears throat> on the island. There I don't know anything else. Yeah, I think there's a lot of mixing, but. I've also noticed some some of the sort of oh God's sake, some of the newer um, generations are they don't really know their history they don't really know where they came from so they tend to be they kind of going towards that Catholicism where like a shaman is a demon <laughs> so um, they was talking to somebody and I figured this is probably going to be an issue so I said you know I said you know, you know like a shaman <laughs> and then that freaked them out and they were gone. <laughs> So that's one way to get rid of people is to tell them to like but this is the current this is the culture. Um this is all their culture. Okay. Spain is not their fucking culture. Spain were the invaders. Like you don't you shouldn't not necessarily adopt your master's cultures. Okay. Their culture is Aztec, Mixtec, Maya. Um those are that's their culture. That is their history. That's where they came from. The Spaniards just came here and fucked it all up. So a lot of them are kind of, they tend to kind of be, it's a lot like Africa. They tend to be sort of the semi-Western. But what I like about it, I was thinking about it the last couple of days as well. So we're talking about it, is 
there's a simplicity about it. Like it, it and I, 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 I see it and I don't, I don't like it. It's, it's, it's becoming like the West. So like, for example, I get adverts all the time in Spanish. Uh, like get credit online and just download this app and there's no, um, there's no security checks and there's nothing. And it's just like, so that, that's all here now. But I think I don't think it works very well because Mexicans are Mexicans they had a rough time from what I understand. So like they don't really listen to anybody. They don't listen to the government. Do we accept the crown in Ireland? The crown owns the whole world. So it's like, yeah, you, you bet they you accept it. People just don't know they accept it. People think they're liberated, but they don't because they're still in debt. The island is still in debt. The island is controlled through debt. <clears throat> Think about it. Before, before the English came there, you guys weren't even Catholic. You weren't even Protestant. You weren't anything. I mean, you weren't anything of those religions. You were Vikings. You were, you had traditional, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, I don't think there's been proper Irish tradition literally in like, I don't know, many hundreds of years. Um, so, you're, you're like, if you really go back, you know, the English roots aren't your roots. Celtic roots are your roots. Viking roots are your roots. That's that's where I, you know, Ireland came from. You know, the people of Ireland. Uh, now it's just politics. Now it's just Catholicism and Protestants and Northern Ireland, and Southern Ireland. It's like it's all fucking nonsense. And the whole world's like that. It's not just Ireland. The whole world's like that. The whole world's divided. Um, the one nice thing about, and I've kind of heard about this like over the years about Mexico is Mexicans are just Mexicans. If you come here and you live here, you're Mexican. It's kind, of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> like quite a few people say that, oh, just, just move here and become Mexican. And I'm going, oh, that's kind of a weird thing to say. Like I moved to Ireland and I didn't become Irish, you know. But it, but that's 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 kind of, you would say, I think that would be kind of the um, the overall approach. You know, like anybody, well, I, I suppose if everybody, if everybody comes and lives here, I think that approach will probably kind of change. We have the EU, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, the EU has fucked up everything, but they fucked themselves up as well. So you can commit a hell of a lot of fraud and, and debt and, and in, in one country and just go to another one and start over, and then move to another one, start over. <laughs> because of the whole privacy thing. Oh no, yeah, privacy, privacy. <laughs> so, 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 so basically, if if you if you rob a bank in one country and you don't pay it off, um, you can just go to another country. It's fine. You just do it the same there. So it's in, in a way that's also backfired. So yeah, it's kind of different. Like um, I, I don't know about that side of it. I don't know, so I don't speak about that. But just it's, it's just generally the, the culture tends to like. Okay, so you live here. You know, who are you? What's your name? Where you come from? You know, what do you like? Why did you come here? Like because we're curious, and then that's it. That's like that's at least my experience so far. It is limited. It is very limited. All right. Well, anyway, I was just showing you. Uh, I, I was going to show you. So, like, basically, you, you you can even just work straight off the templates, Barney, just before you run off. So, you grab any template like this once you're logged in. Okay, and Google's very very fast. So that's it. You start putting in stuff like, uh, you know, like for me to be. And you always, always, always use the same name, the same. You don't change it. You don't leave, remove spaces. You always style it very very similarly. Like this, okay. Now I'm on my way to creating my, my Google page, which I always wanted to do just purely for my SEO. He has a, he has a description. He has where you would put what you do, who you are, blah 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 blah. And then this is where you can go to. Then you go to Google and you say, okay, so what is Google? Let's say you 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 write this. Say you're a psychic. Psychic, okay. What are people searching for when they're looking for a psychic? Psychic. Then you type reading. Reading, psychic reading, psychic reading cards, psychic blah, blah, blah. You read those, those are the things that Google forces people to use to search. So then you go back and you write your blurb and you write it in here. So let's say, okay, what was, let's say reading. So you take reading, okay, that, and you copy it, okay. You can capitalize. No, you don't want, I don't want you to know my, my location. So you copy it, okay. I always cut it because, okay, and, you, and you, you write this in Word or something. You don't write it in here because obviously you're going to make mistakes. So you say, um, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to be really, really stupid and obvious. I do. Okay. There's the tag. Okay, so if people search for psychic readings now, okay, not immediately, and it takes a while for, and it's a, it's very competitive. 
Okay. So I don't know if you're still there, Bonnie. So this is what I'm saying. This is what you start doing. And then you have a home base. I don't know if you get like a custom URL or anything. I don't know. But this is mostly so people so so that 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 and then you, you add content like you 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 know you, you like yes I don't know this I didn't even look at the template you add in for example Twitch Barney the Mystic at Twitch and you add that in and you, if you if you decide to create an Instagram account whatever you put it on here um, if you then create like a website like I have I have on the cards well that's you know I have this website which you know. It's got my details on it. Then you put it. So then you then you come back and you change that page. You don't delete it. Oh, that's I don't know what's happened there. <laughs> it's moved somewhere. Uh, then you go in here and say, uh, obviously better written than this. I'm just doing it quickly because you're leaving. Find me on. Hold on. Uh, what's my? <laughs> it's easier to copy and paste, and you don't make a mistake. Okay. Now already that page is there on the cards is there. Uh, for example, I could there's the name. Okay, um, I, I didn't look at the template, so this is really just fixed. And you, you've already started a crumb, a breadcrumb. You've started an SEO breadcrumb. So you've got a page. So when people, and then you, can, you, you know, I don't know if you can have multiple pages. I don't know how it works exactly. I think so as well. I don't know. I think it's hard work. Uh, that's why I started my on the cards one. Okay, and I did one reading. Uh, because I, like, I can't open it yet because I'm not logged in on this anonymous browser <clears throat> um it's 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 work and i focus on a lot of different things so i haven't gone back to it but it, it's kind of set up like i was explaining earlier it says who i am where i am it's connected to my other accounts like if i click here okay it goes through to my normal author account so th there's a there's a breadcrumb between them um there's they can find out more information about me uh they can find a lot more information about me so this, these are the breadcrumbs that you do. So you would take this and you, like, the, if you had an account, you'd make sure it's on this page. It's on every page, okay? If you, if it's active, if it's not that active, yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, two minds about that. So you put, you put the content on this page. Now this page is, it's Google, so it's pretty much probably immediately indexed. You know, the, 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 my, people might review it for content, and then it's immediately indexed. It's on Google. <laughs> this is the beauty of it. It's on Google. It's automatically indexed. If you use the, the right tags, etc., and you do, you spend your, you know, and if you, like I spend three, four hours doing the tags. For you, you might take a day or two researching it. You go, and you keep going back to Google. And you type, okay, like I do, like let's say, okay, there's that tag for, let's say, spiritual. Spiritual. Look, uh, spiritual card reading. Now that's that, you would copy that. And you would make sure that it's, it's in the, con like I do psychic readings. And... Spiritual card readings. You can add this. That doesn't matter. Okay. So now you've got two tags in there. And I've, I've just, I've taken five seconds to do this. Five seconds. Okay. For, I, know, I know what I'm doing. So obviously I know it's quicker. Then you go back and you think, okay, what, what else? What, what do I do? Like Bonnie does, um, um, I'm, think, I'm trying to think of the term, uh, but that doesn't mean I will eventually get a secondary mobile. It depends on you. I, I I do think you need to have a professional email. Like I said to you, I don't know if it's available. Like what I say, I suggest a Barney Mystic uh, at Gmail, for example. No, ECO is very very simple. It just takes a shitload of time because like you do. What, what, I'm trying to think of the terms like what you do. The medium, some me, like medium medium mediums. You could say I, I am a psychic medium or psychic mediums or I do mediumship. Like, that's probably a term. Oh, no, I've got too many S's. See, mediumship. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's a big... It, nothing really pops up in that first 10 things. So you kind of... You, you, you would do medium. You would put it in, in, the, in the writing, okay, because it goes with psychic. So, for example, if somebody typed psychic medium, see, that's... that's let's go to the end and just takes out some of the letters. See, that's a, cat, that's a tag. So you, you yourself would say, I'm a psychic medium, even if it makes you cringe, okay, because that's the SEO, okay, so you, you, you go back, and, you, and, and that's why I suggest you do it in Word, and you, uh, so, um, then you would write, I, this is very clumsy, I'm just showing you how it's done, it takes a lot, I am a psychic medium, you know, we'll stop, now look, I've already got three or four uh, tags in one paragraph, 
the, 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 what, what you guys are going to find difficult is, is the writing. You can use AI. You can go to Jet, chat GPT, formulate, um, uh, like you take, you, you, you spend hours doing all of your tags. Okay. Then you, you, you put them into a list. Then you say, write me a hundred word or 200 word, uh, article or blurb whatever you call it whatever the chat tpt whatever the, the system will accept and you say and use these keywords and you put like colon like semicolon so you would write i don't have um like i'll do it here so you would write like like this uh this is very basic this is not 100 percent write article of say 500 words for your front page include uh article on uh, psychic, psych, how do you spell it? I'm sure I spelled it right. Medium. Let me zoom up so you can see. I haven't got Word open, so we're using this as Word, okay? And you make sure you spell it right. <laughs> I can never spell it, okay? Then you do that, and then you say, must include uh, uh, terms. Psychic medium. Uh, this is this is something similar to the way I do it when I do use psychic medium, uh, spiritual card readings. Then then the, you use like this, colon, semicolon. Okay. Then you use the you you allow the AI to write the sentences. Then you just go in and you just change it and you make it more human. The, I use it quite a bit. I don't let it write for me. I let it like actually to do all the the stupid, shitty, fucking horrible, boring work of putting all those tags into sentences. Because it also shows you, oh yeah, that's a good sentence. I need to change it, but that's that's a good way to include all the tags. See, and then you you and you add all the tags that you've done research on. You copy that. You put it into the Chat GPT. And then you rewrite everything, making sure you don't change those keywords. Like this keyword has to be. Exactly like that. But you can't spirituality card readings won't work as well. It will work, but it won't work as well. No, I'm writing the prompt for you to use in the this is the prompt. This is the prompt. This is how you write a prompt for Chat GPT. Google's got one. I don't know what it is. Um this is this is what you would write. This is very crude. Okay, I've got a much more elaborate one that I would use, but you basically write, write an article, write, uh, write 500 words about sci a psychic medium. Then you say, um, include these terms because these are SEO terms. So what it does, the AI goes back and writes usually the same shit over and over, but it puts it into sentences that is much easier for you to, to work on. Like I'll, I'll, um, let me, let me show you. We'll take that one. Okay. I just need to switch to a different browser because I have a, a privacy, like a browser's got nothing logged in that I use for this. So let me just call that up and then I'll switch. I'll show you very, very quickly, like that quick thing I wrote there. Okay, I'm still logged in, so that's good. Let's switch browsers. Uh, okay, this is chat GPT. Okay, so now remember, like, remember that thing, that, that very basic stuff I wrote? Paste it in there. Unveiling the mysteries, it always writes stupid shit. Okay, you have to rewrite it. Okay? Unveiling the mysteries of psychic meetings and spiritual card readings. Look, see, there's the, in the title, which you wouldn't use because it's a website. You would use it if you're writing an article. Okay, uh, and they use the same language over and over, which is why you must rewrite it. Okay, Chat GPT and all the others, they write the same shit. They write the same sentence structure over and over and over. You will. You, I will. I can recognize if you if you use too much ChatGPT, but for this purpose, it's perfect because then you you would be looking for these like it always uses in the realm, <laughs> which you can't use because you know then you know it's ChatGPT. But look, uh, psychic mediums. Psychic mediums are enigmatic figures who bridge the gap between the living and the departed. Okay, so it gives you ideas of how to use the keywords. You don't have to sit in front of a blank document, like. Go, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. How am I going to use this tag? It just does it for you. Then you go, okay, I don't like this sentence. I don't like that sentence. This sentence should be at the top or first or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? It's done it for you. You just have to go in and edit and rewrite because the writing is shit. In the realm of paranormal. It's stupid. Um, and it repeats itself over and over and over and over. You have to go in. But it gives you those sentences. Look, the psychic medium, because, you know, if you're, okay, Barney, this is how you do, if you wanted to generate content for those pages for your website, 
Okay. I I partly use this. I I don't always use it. The articles that are actually on currently on um, on my website were hand done. It's completely hand done. But I did all the SEO research. But you can do it this easily. Look, look, at it, and then you just copy the look. It's it's I'd say five hundred words, so it's too long for your front page. Okay, look, like uh, gifts of psychic medium. So you could write an article about that. Look, clairvoyance, clear audience, clear empathy, intuition, and then add your own stuff to it. But it, the keywords are magically written in. You just got to go in and change stupid things like in the realm because it always starts that way. <laughs> now that you know that you're going to be looking at the articles online and going. That if anybody uses the realm, it's going to be ChatGPT, but it always does. In my experience, in my experience, it always writes in the realm of I don't know why. <laughs> so that you have to go and change. You have to rewrite it. But you, then you just say, like instead of saying in the realm of paranormal, you don't wouldn't write paranormal. If you're a psychic and you're you're a tarot reader, you don't write in the realm of paranormal. You just you would I would write it for example. I would delete all of that, okay? I would say psychic mediums stand as enigmatic figures who bridge the gap between the living and departed. Maybe maybe dumb that down a little bit so it's more natural sounding. So you'd say psychic mediums uh, bridge the gap between the living and the departed. Boom. That, see, so you see how you use ChatGPT. Like I've pretty much re deleted half of it, re rewritten it, or changed it, and used it. So it's still got, you, you have the, 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 the SEO term psychic mediums, um, that's the only thing you've got to be very careful of, that you don't start rewriting it, that you change these. Remember remember the prompt? I, I just used two, okay, psychic media, because I, I was just doing quickly because Bonnie needs to go and he, it's late for him. So those are the two tags must be included. But you can you can generate as many tags as you find. Okay, I'm giving a lot of trade secrets away here for free because I kind of do make a bit of a, a living out of this. And I'm kind of telling you online, kind of, you know, it's not to say I don't use ChatGPT to generate content. I use it to to generate, to formulate some sentences that would take me a hell of a lot, lot of time to sit and try and and make it sound natural. But the writing is crap. It's very pompous. It's very repetitive. But it does a lot of the work for you. <clears throat> so it takes away that thing. Oh my God! I'm sitting in front of a blank page and I don't know what to write. So it's something to start with. Yeah, but this is, this will help anybody, any of you guys, even like your your description in 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 um uh on your. I haven't done it. <laughs> don't don't start bringing the pitchforks and the and the and the torches. I haven't done it for myself. Like you could do it on your Twitch account. That that about section, you can say, okay, I'm a psychic medium. I do tarot readings. I do card. I want write me, and I don't know what the word limit. So you'd say 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 it's three hundred characters or whatever. Then you tell ChatGPT. Write a write write about uh, this and include these 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 keywords in, and and, the, uh, uh, and uh, you know three hundred words or whatever whatever the limit is okay and then you go in and you rewrite it all then then you've got something to start with so you can do this everywhere this is the this is what the AI should be used for not for for making jerk off porn you know with anime <laughs> yeah it's it should be a tool for to to actually make your life easier so i could do all of this by hand but look it's already done like i can use this straight away look boom 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 i mean i wouldn't write it exactly that way okay i would use like i would say uh, you know as a psychic medium i bridge the gap between the living and the departed see that's what i would write but like i don't have to think about it because it's already there i'm i'm already looking at it So, so you see, Barney, so that's the thing is people look at this as an overwhelming thing. No, okay. I learned this for myself. I don't, nobody teaches me this stuff. I just go, I wonder how I could use that. How can I use that? And then I go and figure it out. And then I figure it out. Henk has been a huge help. I know Henk's now falling asleep. Henk has been a very big help with this because this is his business. He, he writes the code for specifically, not ChatGPT, but, but he still hasn't given me his, the link to his, I've got the one that's the, the stable, what's it? Um, this this is this the state uh, oh it's gone all weird. <clears throat> this so when I generate a uh, wow this is strange I've updated stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, and I cleared out. Oh, they've changed. No, this is his website. I can't remember. It is. Yeah, this because this is my name. Um, so you, why can't I click on anything? 
Okay, so this this is what okay, he doesn't work on this one specifically, he works on the chat GPT equivalent. Okay. This is Hank's business. This is what he does, the code. So Hank has helped me a lot with, with this stuff. So I so you know, but you can't rely on other people. You also have to do your own research. So you can, you guys can SEO yourself for success. If you're just on Twitch just for fun and you don't give a shit, then why bother? But if you want to get private readings, if you want to sell stuff, like my uh, like I was showing you, and I have to switch back. Let me switch back to the other browser. Um, I have to adjust uh, this one, I think. No? That one. Okay, so, uh, what was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> that was just that was the prompt that I was showing you because I don't have Word open, so I was just writing it. I was actually just writing it inside, um, inside the page, just so I could show you what I, how you would go about writing it, just very very quickly, very briefly. This is not properly done. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't publish this page, you know, because it's just to show you how you do it. So you in you can literally now do this everywhere on Twitch if if you if you if you, if you, you know well, you have the about section, you have all those blocks beneath your stream okay most people don't look at it but twitch but google does okay google will read those tags book your personal session today are you prepared to commence an extraordinary yeah you see but now in there you must make sure you have as many tags as possible i mean i don't know i'm just i, I recognize the the ones that i looked at um the psychic reading tarot session i don't know if tarot session is a tag i don't know uh, like the spiritual, what is the one, the one I had here, yeah, spiritual, spiritual card reading, um, stuff like that. So, so the beauty of AI is you shouldn't be using it to, to do all the work for you, but it does all that stupid, boring, dull thinking for you. It create, it gives you a, something that you can polish. It gives you a, like a not, not a great piece of work. But it's already got all the all the all the keywords uh, uh, booked. In. I'll show you. Like so, when I, I don't, let me get a word document. I'll show you how I do it. Let me just, uh, Bonnie, if you have to go, it's okay. Don't. Now let me turn off the browser because that's on top of my document. Where are we? I didn't even. I didn't even. I didn't even put the um, my little keyboard to work today. I just streamed. I didn't even switch on the software. I keep saying me this stuff like again. Okay, let's just make this smaller. Let's get a document. So, <clears throat> so like I start, first of all, I, I, I look for like this. Um, this oh, now my browser's off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so like I go there and I decide, okay, like, okay, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take one I've already done. I, although I didn't do it, I didn't use this process. I did this one's done by hand. Um, but this is how you do it. Okay, okay. I have this one. How to choose a psychic, what to ask a psychic. This one I send people when they come to my stream and they're asking you know, questions that are not particularly good, like I send into this to this article. But this article is, is an SEO article. Okay. So this is a tag. This is what people ask in Google. This is also partly of, of a tag, what they're asking. This then inside here are all these keywords. So if you go back to Word, you, you have word, word, whatever you use, you don't have to use Word. So we had what are those tags? There we go. We had we just, we just start with that. Okay. That's the prompt. Okay. These are the keywords. So every time you find a keyword that suits you on Google, <clears throat> you, 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 you just copy and paste it. Okay. No, no point. But anyway, you, if you want, you can also just come back and just have a look. I'll just go on a little bit about this and then you can also just, you can just ask again. So that's how you do it. You paste it. So every time you go to Google, it's very dull. It's very fucking tedious. And you go to Google and you and you type different variations like psychic cards. Oops. And you it, it's very dull. You try to see what do people ask and what has Google pushed them to search for. Because people like people will just start like they will go, Hey, I'm in a terrible place. I need a psychic. So they start typing, they start typing psychic. You see, look at now it, it's it's remembering my history, even though I'm anonymous, anonymous browser. Okay. So you go, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I need a psychic medium. That's what I need. Okay, now this, none of this is what I want. So there's a psychic medium that does readings. <laughs> that's that's how they search. Does. Now sometimes Google, sometimes Google will correct you. Or they, they will, sometimes they don't even write the whole thing. They're, 
They just write like psychic medium reading. They just keep typing words and Google keeps suggesting. Oh, now it stops suggesting. <laughs> okay, that one's obviously not a, not a keyword. So you don't use that because people are not using it. This is how you find out. Yeah, all right. Um, I don't know if anybody else is um, interested in this, in this conversation. So, well, where's my browser? What's happening on Twitch? Oh, we have almost no viewers. <laughs> So, yeah, I, if you take too long, I might not be here anymore. <clears throat> um, Muse, I don't know if you're still there. Uh, so th that's kind of like how how you do the SEO. You look, you, you, there are t other tools in that, like, but I've realized it's kind of difficult to log in. Like I use uh, Google uh, keywords, but I have run adverts before through Google. So I think it's quite a rigmarole to try and get in you know it's i don't know i don't remember anymore so i just use that so i go to google keyword planner yeah if it's very quiet i'm going to stream i'm not going to sit and talk to myself because there's, there's almost no one on twitch now there's about three viewers so yeah but that, but that's but this is like i can't walk you through every single thing because then i have to charge you for like 20 20 hours of co personal coaching because like I, you know, it's like you don't go to a doctor and teach, get the doctor to teach you how to do open heart surgery. You have to go, and, you know, get a degree. So that's what I'm saying. This gives this gets your brain to think in this manner. So when you look at your Instagram profile, you look at your Twitch profile. It's a terrible thing because suddenly you just keep thinking, I should, I should SEO this and I should SEO that. The good part of it is that once you have a good blurb. Like I am a psychic medium, who did blah 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 blah. You can copy and paste that into many different profile um, descriptions, and those keywords are always there. So if as you as you start like I rank, like it's, you, you you know you've seen like if I type my name in like now I don't know it's, Google's getting a bit confused now. Hold on, <laughs> uh, hold on, I keep copy and paste oh, there. Uh, I don't know what Joe Roderick Inc. is. I don't know what that is. Um, like, oddly enough, nobody. There's no suggestions for me. That's interesting, Joe Roderick Brown. I don't know who that is. Uh, but like, this is just SEO for yourself. But this is just to show how my SEO um, and my name is now associated with so many different things. This is not. This is not because it's not just because I'm I'm known for an author. It's known. I'm. I'm I'm better known because I've spent years working on this. Um, so then when people search for me, they, they can find me. Like most of you are not searchable. They can't find you. They can't find you because there's no, there's no breadcrumb trails. So like obviously I, I write books. So there's a lot about me if you write, like I showed you earlier, if you write books, um, then I saw it actually in order. I just saw that now. Now look, you see I was just typing and I hit enter too quickly. I don't know if those of you are still on there. See, look, uh, books. And it had in order. So like, let's say I was going to do an SEO page for myself. This would, uh, maybe not Joe Roderick, books in order, but books in order. I'd use in, in you see, so like, it's act, and it's actually listed my books by publication. Look, 2003, it was actually, I actually published in 2012, but it only went through the next year. It's actually, and I think it's actually got most of them. <laughs> uh, I don't see the others. It's actually got, it actually has listed them in order. So I've just learned something today. So if you were an author, this is a tag that you might want to consider putting into one of your pages. Books in order. So Joe Roderick, books in order. So the order of publication. And the and, it's actually, from what I can remember, it's pretty right, but there, there are some missing there. I suppose it doesn't fit on the. Is there an error? Hold on. Is there an error here? No. Yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> and then at the top it says Joe Roderick books by originally published. You see, so this is how you research. If you want to be found, you've got to use Google. D d not not for your own personal stuff, but for for other people to find you. You've got to go with what Google does. Like this is new. I'd never seen this before. So you can be damn sure I'm actually going to copy it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. But so that I'll come across it again eventually. Although this is a very, see, the, the, another thing with, uh, let me just put this in my stream to do folder because then I'll remember. Now this is a, t a trick. 
uh, a tip. This is a massive tip that will bring you success. If you try to go for number one, it's not going to work because you are a nobody. Google doesn't know you from a fucking bar of soap. So if you think, oh, I'm clever, I'm going to call my books Oprah books. Okay. You're never going to appear because Oprah is the most famous Oprah. So every single thing will come up about Oprah and nothing will come up about your thing. So the thing with SEO is you want to, you, you want what, what Americans keep going on about. You want to niche down. I hate the term, but it's but it's accurate. You want to niche down into something. So it's better to have 10% of a small market than 0% of the entire world. And 10% of a niche market is enough for you to be very wealthy. This is the mentality people need to get into their heads. So like psychic mediums, you don't need to reach every single person, even those that never, don't have the internet in the Amazon jungle. Okay? That's not your goal. If you try and do that, you will fail. Because unless you are Oprah or Tony Robbins, what's his name? Tony Robbins or Bill Gates. Unless you are this name, okay, people will not see you. They will never see you. Okay. The reason why my books are, are, are actually turning up is because I've typed for myself. So I've run I've run a search on myself. Okay. This is what I've put out there. And I've I've taken a lot of care about how I've put the stuff out there. So that's what you've got to think about. So if you are a tarot, if you say you want to do private tarot readings, okay, don't try and compete with people who do, I don't know, Tibetan bowl tea leaf poop readings. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Don't compete with that. Because you don't, first of all, those people will never, ever come to you for a reading. It's like the percentage is so low. Like most people think, oh, I just want to, I want everybody. I want to get everybody. You said no. Because you are putting the amount of effort you put into such a teeny tiny it, it's so small the, the percentage of chance is so small you cannot even write the number to be like 0 0.00000001 <clears throat> percent chance so people say yeah but that's a chance missed no that's an opportunity that you're not going to get so if you put effort into that okay you are you're literally wasting your time because the, the, the chances of success is so low <clears throat> that it, it's, it's as equal to zero. So, so what you want to do is you want to focus. So like, let's go back and look. <clears throat> Excuse me. So those of you that do tarot readings, okay? So you start with the keyword tarot because that's what every tosser goes and types. Tarot, I want a, I want a tarotist. <laughs> like I call them terrorists because I think it's funny. <laughs> um, and in fact, one of these, that's, that's an idea. Actually, that actually is a word. Oh, it actually is a word. I thought I just kind of made it up. It actually is a word. <laughs> I said, there was a note to myself, mental note, that one day I should actually write a blog post about terrorists. Because it's funny. So it'd be an entertaining read. It's, I would add in all the other keywords. You see, you see how you start to think in SEO terms. Okay. Unfortunately, you don't stop thinking in SEO terms. It actually does ruin writing a little bit because it's a business. This is business writing. This is not creative writing where you write stuff, light and fluffy stuff. You need to, you can do that. So you can have a blog that has a lot of personal stuff, but you must have heavily SEO'd articles. Because if you have a few, they call them cornerstone articles. If you have a few, like terrorists would be great for me. Because I, I, write a, I write a very funny article about it. I'll include all the, all the keywords. Like, okay, then you scroll down. Um, look, people also ask, what is a terrorist? So you take it and you put it up here in the search bar. Just to test, okay? It's not, it's not what they're suggesting. <laughs> Google's gotten tired of me. This is refresh. Ah. I dragged and dropped instead of copying. But I often just do this because it's uh, instead of copying, you can actually just select and drag it into the search bar. It's just quicker. Um, for some reason, it's not auto suggesting. It stopped. I don't know, for, on my end, uh, Google has stopped auto suggesting stuff. Ah, fuck it. Well, it's, a great, it's a great time for Google to stop working properly. <laughs> um, but, but this is what you would do. So you would type that. Ah, I didn't copy this copy. Okay, let's do this one. 
So like, is, so this is, people have asked this. So Google is actually telling you, this is what people are asking. These are very important. Even these little blurbs. Look, see, there's a Wikipedia. So you would take this Wikipedia link and you would embed it into your article. So when you write terrorist the first time, you would link it to this article and make it open up in a new page. Okay. So this is why these things are important. So let's just copy that. And it stopped suggesting to me for some reason. It's no longer suggesting. Well, actually, I can switch now to my normal browser. Because um, I no longer need to be in Google Pages. Hold on. Um, Let's switch it over. Then I can close this window as well. All right, so uh, let's just get to Google for for starters. I use PreSearch. So on this on the on the actual browser, you always see pre PreSearch. Yeah, because I you know I kind of like my freedom. But even uh, you see, look, you see even even PreSearch is it because it reads Google results, so it also works. Okay, but it is best to go to Google because Google is milking your information. <laughs> and, you know, so that's is what you want because you want to find out what information it's milking. So, like, so I always backspace a word to see if this actually comes up. So, like, uh, is terrorist a a word? See, that's the first one that comes up, okay? Because Google told you. Remember, look down here. What is a terrorist? And there was another one on the other on the pre, on the previous browser. Uh, let's just call the search over. And I want you to sign a fuck off, <laughs> sign in my house. You see, so this was given to you. So the SEO is given to you on the page because they want people to click on it. So like if I was going to write an article, this is like, and if you ever see an article uh, that I write about, if I ever get around to it, you will see this in it. So uh, let me do this. Move this over to this browser. Now you look at this one that I wrote Okay, which is SEO. This is all manual. There's no G chat GPT. There is absolutely no AI in here. It's all written by hand. Okay. But these are all keywords, most of these. Okay. In there, I can't remember. But everything in here, somewhere in here, like ask Terra about your a crash or a, what somewhere in that thing, like as a term, inside those questions are actual SEO um, terms. Okay. So that's how I do it. So like I so so like this one. I don't I don't remember because I did the SEO. I don't I don't keep this stuff. I don't need it. So let's say. See look see. See what is it immediately suggested? Questions to ask tarot cards about your crush. What do I have? Questions to ask your uh, ask questions to ask tarot cards about your crush. Do you see? This is what you want to put into your articles, into your descriptions, into your every box that you can put keywords in. So that's how this one was done. This one was, look, does my crush know I'm into, some of these were actually, were my own experience from, from streaming. So I, I put them in there, but I wanted it to SEO. What to ask psych, a psychic about love? Now, I don't know, I can't remember. So let's, let's, let's just take stuff out. Um, uh, what was this? Ask. And also another trick is to leave a space in front. If you leave a, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, it's underneath. Let me zoom in. Uh, I'm underneath the tip me thing. <clears throat> now you see here, there is a space. Okay, because this often will trigger. And a space either in front or before will often. Now it's also stopped suggesting to me. <laughs> for some stupid reason. Look, see? Now, if I if I just have no space there, sometimes it doesn't add stuff behind it first. Because I've already searched for questions to ask, ask it's included psychiatrist, because I've got psychic. You see? Psychic will change it. Uh, then it, 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 it will come up with suggestions that are of no use to you. So you have to keep trying. <coughs> <coughs> Mine was, that that's an actual term. I think it's not what it's suggesting today. I don't know. It's, it's Google's gotten tired of me telling, giving its secrets away. Let's try something else. This should this should trigger, but it's not. Let me refresh. So 
So if you have a, a term and you want to test it out, I delete like the first words, the last words, okay, this one's just not working. Uh, so let's do media. What, what are the other ones? <laughs> Let me see, try something else. Good tarot questions to ask. Now that's not necessarily, the whole thing is not necessarily a phrase. I'm trying to remember my SEO. Look, good questions to ask for tarot reading. Good tarot reading, good tarot reading questions. Um, good questions to ask during a, a uh, to ask during a tarot reading. What are good questions to ask? What is a good question to ask a tarot reader? So you see, it's not the exact term, maybe not when I did it back then, that was a more prominent keyword, now it's slightly less common. But the words are still, it, it, there's an indirect, uh, uh, even though the words are slightly mixed around, the AI of Google reads it and knows that's what it means, even though it's slightly written slightly different. Although I suggest you always, 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 like, you, like if I was redoing the article, I would use this one, because that's the first one on the list. Okay, so you, you, Google loves headings. So these, so that is, let's, so you're looking at the thing, okay? That's H1. That's the first, that's heading one uh, in like Word documents or in web page. That's H1. <clears throat> this is H2, where I, where I stuff the next biggest uh, keyword that I found long, to, they call them long, um, long tail keywords. Okay, these are questions and things that people ask. They stop typing and it pops up like, I don't know if this one will pop up. I don't remember. Okay. See? Um, so mine's not, you see, I, I did mine a while ago. So it's not questions for tarot readings. Um, Everyone, newsflash. Jeffrey the seer is here and he like he's totally here. sees he's everything. Here. The seer has arrived. Oh, finally, some question etiquette. What does that mean? Oh, crikey. This, this browser window is also too big. It's half under the chat. Yeah, no, I've got this one. I've actually got it on a short link. Um, in fact, I, I, it pops up somewhere. I think if you type help or something, it actually comes up. Let me see. I've got a short, a short link to my website for it. I think. There we go. See? Q on the dot on the cards. Dot on the dot cards. So this is that one. That's that page. But like I was, I, I was, I was, Barney's gone to walk his dog. Um, so I just carried on. I can't sit and, and say nothing all day. I mean, there's hardly anybody watching. So like I was going through like how you build an SEO article. Um, then of course I have a man, you know, I had, I, I mean, I used to have stock images from a site I used to belong to and I can still use them. Um, so a lot of it, I mean, most of this is written literally to help people, but also to get people to come in, like what to ask a psychic about a career. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> Hi, bye. So rude. Nice to see you, Jezza. How was it? How was it with you there? Esoteric Jezza, welcome in. Like for example, the uh, careers was the thing that came up. Uh, I think Google's not suggesting to me; it's, they're getting tired. <laughs> it's not. It's it's no longer doing the pop-ups. Okay, look, psychic career Sims four. Tara questions about career. Do you see why that that what to ask psychic about the career because google can even though so, i mean this one was written more for humans it was less for seo more for humans so you know but like let's let's try uh, if we run this as a search who knows if i'll pop up uh, I, this, the chances are very very low because my site's not new enough um so it's very unlikely <laughs> but i'll show you how you can see if it is working okay you put my name in it. Look, oh, see? Now, most people are not going to search that term and my name. But there I am. I'm the first one. Why? Because of relevance. Because I've actually got that on the page. I've just narrowed it down so that I could show you to make it come up. And most people won't. So they might be searching for questions to ask about your crush remember let's see let's just see now it will actually start to show my website because like say let's say if i click on it it will actually show me my website because google's building up um i shouldn't do that because it actually fucks up my seo by clicking it and going away okay it might it might not let's see my site is beginning to index but it's it's very it's very competitive let's go to look 
I don't know, it's fine, lost page. I was just, I was just hoping to put. However, for example, if again, if I, no, it's not true. Right. But if I, if I, if I make it narrow it down by putting my name on it, oh, yeah. it'll come up again. Why? Because it's on the page. Now, it, this is very, very hard to get you, you to show up on the first page. It's impossible if you put your name in it because my name has become a brand. Hey, <laughs> well, yeah, it's not really, it's actually a full goatee, but it's white. So, <laughs> it's white, so we don't See? But mostly it's white, and I haven't shaved this on the sides. So, <laughs> it's it's just that this is the only part that's dark, it's, just, it's a t, -t shape. <laughs> right, now, let's get out of that screen, get out of that, ah, get out of that screen. Where am I, where am I, reading? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, shame on Thank you. Let me give you a shout out. Why does it not auto did I shout you? Didn't auto shout you out. I thought I had an auto shout out. Yeah. I don't know. I've forgotten who's now in the auto shout. That's what I'm getting. This is an old oh, clip. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen this. Just normal stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then people, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, people always like try to like when some. All right, let me tell you like this. When some, What's with the sunglasses? I bet you can't see the cards. <laughs> yeah, no, I hadn't shaved for so. I mean, I hardly streamed. So like, I, I, my beard was so long. I thought, well, yeah, I haven't had a, I haven't had a goatee for a long time because I really don't like it. It's very uncomfortable. It's already started to become like a bald goldy lot, like a pot scour and sticking together, and it's it's very uncomfortable. Um. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, I'll grow one. I know, it, it, you know, people like me with with it. I just, I just, just very uncomfortable. Um, it's it's really it's even worse to kiss. Trust me. I thought, yeah, I'm not kissing anybody. <laughs> I'm just on screen, so I thought I'll just grow one and I'll get bored of it. Anyway, so 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 this is how I know Bonnie's busy walking his dog. Musa was here, but I think Musa's busy. Uh, well, I don't know if he's still here actually. Musa, Musa, are you there? No, I think he's gone. Yeah, no, he's gone. He's not. I don't see him in my list. He's left because I was also helping him out. So, so that's what I was saying. So this article, I wrote this before I had a website. I mean, I, I had the website, but before I had any of this, this article was already there, okay? Because I wanted to get the SEO going. So this article is now almost a year old. Um, and eventually, as I become more known for on the cards, this will start coming up. Now, you notice I didn't put on the cards. I put Joe Roderick. Now, on here, it doesn't, there's not much about, I mean, the, 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 somewhere here, my name's, no, hold on, on the front page. <laughs> somewhere on there, somewhere on the site, it says who I am. Somewhere, I, I can't remember. Yeah, I think, hmm. <laughs> I think maybe on the about, I, I, that's actually very bad, see? Don't do this. Make sure your name's on, or the name that you use is on here. I don't see myself anyway. Wait, it finds it somewhere. Where is it finding it? It says it's on the page, but I can't find it. Ah, fuck it, I don't know. Maybe it's in the tags, I can't remember. So, so that's the thing. So like when I searched this, remember I, I searched it, it didn't find it. And if I put now on, if I take my name out again, if it will actually find it, because now it's starting to learn my history. It's very competitive. But if you don't start... If you do not start, okay, you won't get anywhere. And I was just looking, hold on, I saw Quora. Because, like, I often will uh, get search. Jamie will actually tell you she's gone to bed now. Uh, she found, she found, she was asking some question about something and they sent her to Quora, to me, on Quora. Quora is another good place for SEO. Like, let's say, what could I ask? Okay, I'll just, I'll just try a silly one, like, on the cards home core just show you how well it works now obviously this is a term that's very very i forgot it's a term that is very very uh, difficult to compete for so actually my 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 what's the name It finds me. You see, like even though, um, look, see, it's found Cartmancy. It's found. It's found my group. 
This is how you get the Google to work. Now, this is obviously not the way people search. People don't go on the cards uh, unless they're looking for me. Okay, But this is just to show you how it works. Eventually, if, if you stick at it and you um, do enough content, if you do enough content, it will show up like, uh, uh, like you weren't here when I was doing it earlier. So if I just search for myself, and now I'm logged in. So it's, it shows me even more content. I was using an anonymous browser. It shows you the woman. She's, I think, a music producer. But I'm first. My, 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 see, I have relevance. I have my name, .com and .net. I have linked. Uh, this is actually her. This is not me. <clears throat> this is the producer. Um, that's her as well. This is me. This is me. This is me. This is me. <laughs> this is me. This is me. <laughs> And this is how you do it. But you've got to create the, the the breadcrumbs. And that the more you do it, the more the more there are there are, like like they're, they're things I've never seen about myself. Like every now and again, I know we've done this a few times. Every now and again I find reviews that I've never heard of. Like they always goes to Google because uh, um, to Goodreads because that is like it goes to my website because I've got all my old reviews that aren't, aren't even on Amazon anymore. Uh, on there. Look, here's one. I've never seen this one. I don't remember this one. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you, you eventually become searchable. Live, love, breathe books. I don't remember this way. I don't remember this website. I think I have been here before, but I don't remember this. I don't, I don't know who it is. I award this book four out of five stars. I like it. Can I log in? No, I have to log in. Some, so whatever. <laughs> so Sarah Hardy. I don't remember. I might have known her on Facebook. But this, you see, so when you search for, for, for me, you will find stuff like this. If you want to build a business online, I'm hoping Barney, I'll, I'll tell Barney to come and watch from the point on when he gets back. <clears throat> Actually, I, I'm going to clip this. I think I'm going to clip the whole thing, the, highlight the whole part that we spoke. Because we spoke about other stuff, how, how food's going to kill you in the, in, in the city. Uh, so I'll cl clip this part and I'll just leave it as an SEO topic. Um, so this is how you find me and this is how you Google people. <laughs> and if they've done their job properly, let's let's see what we can snoop on. Look, you see, it's already coming up because he's chosen the tag that's very difficult to compete with. <laughs> shamanic awakening is very, very difficult because everyone's used it. So shamanic awakening is very difficult. I don't know if this is you. Is this you? Are you on Facebook? Ah, oh, for God's sake, we have to log into everything. Is this you? No, I don't think it's Shimon. I don't think it's Chief. Okay, so shamanic awakening is not a great, not, not a great term. It's not a great term. It's finding everybody else. Uh, now I, I'll tell you how I would find it if I if I did Twitch. I will try that next. Look at you. Are. See, that is you, isn't it? So, you see, but people don't search that way. That's why I say, it. so like, this is what I was saying earlier about chat, chat GPT and write. Like, you have nothing in your about section. Oh, no, that's a video. So, where's your about section? Why is it so small? Go away. Um, they've changed something. I'm fine. I'm battling to understand. Where is the, they've changed some shit. Hold on. Let's go to your profile. Now, like, all those keywords and stuff you should have in your about section, like here. So here, you don't have your name, like Chief Moki. I can't, I can't pronounce it. I just call you Moki, Chief Moki. Hold on. Why are you above it? I'm trying to highlight it and copy it. Okay, copy all that. So in 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 here, hold on. I mean, look. Oh wait, I've pulled I've pulled it out. <laughs> so in here, you should have. Yeah, but people don't search one word. That's that's the you see we're talking about SEO like how people are going to I just want to copy that now if we search for okay there we are that must be you on SoundCloud um, on Apple you see now you should have Chief Mocky in where are you you should have it in here because this is your name like if you look like I no, don't look at mine because I don't I think I don't think I did it properly like like I was showing you like when 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 you go on to like um okay go go, go away <laughs> uh 
Uh, like if you go to my uh, my Instagram page, it's linked to my author account. Look, see, there's if you click on it, that's tag. So like on 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 Twitch, you should have your name. So that if people like look how quickly we found you, look how fucking quickly we found you. If I, I I like I mean I don't really know you that much by that name. Like if look if I search for this, I don't know if I'll find you. Okay, so in some way you have got your name. Somewhere, because it is finding you, look, if I search for you on Twitch through that name. So that name is very, very important for you, but it's not here. I don't see it here. It's somewhere on your page. It'll be somewhere. Oh, look, yeah, it's it's a past video. It's only on the past video. So in in, in, in your, in this here is your, your Google, okay? Google can find, if you put that in there, when I run chief, uh, I, do, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mok, Mokiki, I got to know how to pronounce it. When you add that into Twitch, within a few weeks, this will show up here. So when they search for, uh, like I search for Sh Shamanic Awakening, because that's what I know you as. Maki Wish. Maki Wish. So then your Twitch account will start popping up. Let's see if you are on here. Okay, you, you, you are, you've, you've, got, you've got top 10 songs of, uh, of, of, of you. Okay, YouTube. You've got Instagram, great. Uh, you've, I don't know who that is. Uh, oh, that's also you. Deezer. United, so you are on the first page for your name, for that name. Okay, so you got to put that name on everything else. Okay, and then you, you got to put Shamanic Awakening on all those other accounts. So when they, uh, you, you know, you, like they say we go to SoundCloud. Okay, like you would want to put Shamanic somewhere in the description, somewhere not too intrusive. I don't know. I don't. I use SoundCloud only for a couple of artists. Um, for bi bureaucratic, I love his music. I bought, I bought uh, when I was in Cape Town. I bought his. Uh, I, I, I listened to it so much. I like, even though some some of his music irritating because he fucked it up. You know, he, he's taking something wonderful. And he's he's put too many quirky sound effects in it. It's ruined. So like, that's the only why I, I know uh, SoundCloud and Bandcamp. So like in your profile, uh, I don't know how much, like here, like in here. You would want to. You would want to like write it in there, like. Um, something like psychic medium. <laughs> this was just going back to Barney. Like if Barney watches this, like then if he was you and he had this account, he would want to write in there that he's also a psychic medium. Okay, because that's the term. That's I was showing him how to do how to get uh, ChatGPT to use the, the 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 these these keywords that we search for, like like these. Like people also ask, what is a terrorist? I was using an example earlier. earlier. Um, so these T words, so that so so you would want to think, Spencer. Where, where are you? You're gone. <laughs> so you would want to go and think. Okay, like this is about music, but I want people to also come to Twitch. I want people to know I'm more than just a musician. I want people to know that I'm also into spiritual issues and helping people. So you want to write a sentence that you can put in there that will say like, okay, in short, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but like. Follow me on Twitch for spiritual readings, you know, or, or psychic readings. You, you look for the terms. As a, uh, you might also, or you might write in there. You might also know me as a, 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 a shamanic awakening on Twitch streaming tarot and the, the, unless you want to keep them separate. Some people want to keep these things completely separate. The the audience do, their audiences do not overlap. But I think in your case that's not the case. So you would put at the bottom. You would put there. You might also know me a shamanic awakening, streaming Twitch, uh, psychic readings, da 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 da, blah blah blah. But then you go back and you research like we did earlier. Um, let me get one from. I had, I had to do it anonymous because I couldn't log into Google. Um, let's go back like this one. Like this, 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 this is a term, psychic medium. Yeah, fuck off. You don't need to know my location. Okay. So like, okay, no one's knowing Spanish because I'm in Mexico. Uh, Matthew, <laughs> psychical, I can never say it in, in Latin languages. Um, so, so you, so you, this is how you do the the the, the SEO. So, psychic medium meaning him in Hindu uh, salary, <laughs> a psychic medium reading. You gotta find and you gotta you gotta keep. Look, psychic medium near me. Now, you wouldn't put that on your profile because that would be corny. You know, but you could write it into an article. Like if you write articles, you say, if you're looking for a psychic medium near you or near me, then you might want to like, you, you know, you'd write an article that, that you could somehow work these things into. But on your profiles, so like 
you know, if you consider, I don't consider myself as a psychic medium. Um, so I would probably put like, I put things like spiritual advisor. That's what, that's what I call myself. So if mock, mock what's it you said? Mock, mocky wish. Mocky wish. If that was my account, I would put at the bottom there. You might also know me as on the cards uh, through, you know, my, my brand or my, my site on the cards or on Twitch where I do spiritual, uh, I, I, I work as a spiritual advisor. Something. You, you've you got to customize it to what you feel comfortable. I don't really feel comfortable with people calling me psychic, you know, because I don't see myself as a psychic. <clears throat> I just see myself as a crazy person who just says shit and sometimes means something. But this is an opportunity. You know why? Because this page will kickstart your, 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 your Twitch career and vice versa. And people say, "Hey, I never knew that 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 he did tarot. I love tarot." Off they go. They go and they go and subscribe, and they go and find you on on as like yeah, it doesn't tell you. So like, there's no connection. If if we run a search, there's absolutely no connection, but only your music. So we don't have any connection. Look, there's three pages of you. It's C. This is C. At some point, it 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 will find. At the end, it will find. Oh, there's more pages. So eventually, but nobody clicks this far. They will eventually like find like a link to that one video that your name is on. Uh, this one, this video. Okay. Eventually, it will find the link, but you don't want that. You want to, to connect it. That's why I say this is the whole, the whole thing we're just talking about SEO and getting branding yourself and getting people to find you. Like I, I, I would search for sh shamanic awakening. Now, in the future, when I search for shamanic awakening. Like I did it first. Okay, I had to find actually on Twitch. Then it found. Then it found this video, this one video where you we actually got the name. Now you see, like your the SEO is not working for you because there's none there. So that's that's the thing. So you want to create all these links. Then then you, it's fucking time. It's fucking dull shit work to do. Okay, you have an Instagram account. I think you do, didn't you? Didn't you have an Instagram account? No, you had you had YouTube or first page, I think. Um, I think you do have an Instagram account. There you go. There you are on Instagram. Okay. So in this, look, you've got nothing in here. Oh, actually, you, have, you do have Twitch. Okay, good. So you've got, but you want to put in here, you want to put chief, oh, I thought I'd pronounce it again. God, I am so bad. Mocky wish, mocky wish. Okay, so you want to put that in there because everybody knows you. Okay, look at all those, look at all those hits. Okay, look at all those hits. It's all you. So you want to make sure that that name, that name that you use, is in here, and it's tied to Shamanic Awakening. And Shamanic Awakening is tied to that one. It creates all these cross breadcrumbs. You already have uh, popularity. You already have a name. Most people don't have that yet. You can, you can, like, like I have my author name. You can piggyback on that. Uh, but it means, and you don't have to go and write like tons. You can go and have a sentence that you can go and copy and paste and put it on them. You can also say, you may all, like <clears throat> on your Twitch, ones that say about Twitch, you can put there, you you might also know me as you know, Chief Mokiwish, um, the musician. Just put it quietly, you put it at the bottom. <clears throat> because when Google, when I do a Google search like for Chief or for Shaman, it, it, it will automatically bring those two onto the page. And then there's a, the, Google start. This is why Google's bad because they know everything about you. The things that you think that Google doesn't know, they know. <clears throat> so you have to actually use it to your benefit. So now you know how to go. Now you know how you're going to waste a lot of time. <laughs> um, but it's it, for. So what you do is you go and write. You go and write. Uh, you go and look up the tags, like the ones you're comfortable with. Like for me, like I said to you, I'm more of a spiritual advisor. Okay, so. And those would be the kind of people that would would come to me. Like people looking for a tarot tarot uh, spread, they wouldn't be looking for me. So like this is a keyword that you must like for me. I would have to have okay in these profiles. Then I would look as well like spiritual, and you can also this, you can also do alphabet like B, spiritual but not religious. C, spiritual communion, spiritual cleansing, spiritual communion. This is how I do SEO for an article. Like if I write an article, actually I'll show you. Um, I've got it on my desktop, I think. I've got a rudimentary one. Uh, 
Okay, this is a rudiment. It's not, it's not fully developed. Um, let me show you my word. 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 That's actually still open, but it's, that's the wrong document. Let's close this one. No, I don't want to save it. It's just a blank document. Okay, why can't you find the other one? <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's decided it doesn't want to use that one. Uh, now this, this I started writing this one for myself. I just haven't done it for my website to sell tarot diaries. Okay, so this is all SEO, how to keep a tarot journal. Now I, I'm selling them. I, I don't really give a shit how you use it, but that's what people are look searching for. Like if you take that link, that uh, I need my browser back. Uh, where the browser's gone? Is <laughs> the browser? And we go back to to to. Let me open up a new window there. Okay, look, that's a term. Look, if I hit backspace, you can see. Look, how to keep a tarot a journal, how to store a tarot deck, how to keep tarot cards. These are all questions that that pushes you to answer. To, to so people to start start typing. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I want to know. That's what you want to take. So. <clears throat> Now, when people, I mean, it's going to be hard work, but when people search for that tag, that is the, where's my document? Now it's gone. Yeah, we go back to me. I've got such a small screen. So that's the name of my article that I'm going to write. Okay, then I've got, that's H1, that's header one. In in, in, in um, uh, web, web, web design, it's H1, header one. Okay, in Word, it's, it's you know, same thing, header one. That's header two, which is the second most important thing. It's got another, like, what is tarot journaling? Okay. Shit, I wish I could keep everything on one screen. Uh, hang on. Please bear with me. Um, so you go in there, look. What is tarot journaling? Funny. <laughs> Funny that Google suggests that, doesn't it? <laughs> So 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 that's all that's that's on the page. I mean, I'm not going to show you any more, you know, because it's, it's the same thing, it's the same process. But this is my research. Now let me go back to my own document. So that's my research. So that's one tag. How often should you do tarot readings? That's another tag. So in the header one and header two, there's already three tags plus tarot, which is very hard to compete with. Uh, journaling, um, tarot readings. There's so many keywords in there that people search for. Okay. Then I have subheadings, which are heading three. How to start the tarot journal. What should I include in my tarot journal? These are all questions that if you paste them, if, if you go, like, I'll show you again. This would be a question. If we go back to Google, I'm really hoping that more people, there's very few people that turned up for the stream, sadly. Okay. That's an actual question. And you can see it is, look. What should I include in my resume? Because that's what most people ask. T. Tarot. And as you start typing it in my tarot journal, that's why my original keyword, my heading, is called what do I include in my tarot journal? Let me go back. Um, hold on. Uh, that one off. So, like, th this is how I do SEO. Now I'm giving a lot of trade secrets. I mean, they're not really trade secrets, but this is how you do it. This is how you get yourself to be found. It's, and it's still very, very hard. But without doing this, it's like just a thousand times more harder. So look at all. So this is how I, I haven't written it. Uh, look, look, look at all the, I'll zoom in. Look at all the SEO keywords. Look, tarot. Uh, tar Let me just switch off characters. It's easier to read. Uh, those are my SEO keywords. The main one, obviously, is Tarot Diary, because that's what I'm selling on Etsy. This is going to be an advert to get people to find it on Google and then go to Etsy and buy one. Okay, So Tarot Journal, Tarot, uh, tarot Card Journal, Tarot Notebook, uh, Digital Tarot Journal. It's fucking dull as shit. Tarot, daily Tarot Journal, the the, the Tarot Journal, uh, One Card Tarot Journal. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's. So then you write all these words into, the, I've, got, I've got all the headings done. Those are the, going to be my headings, which are the questions that are asked of Google. Then I'm going to use the keywords, and I was showing earlier how you can use ChatGPT. I'll switch. I think I still got it open. Um, but now I need to switch browser again. <laughs> uh, let's turn that off. Uh, are you back? Oh, oh, hold on. 
no, yeah, no, no, Musa, I don't think he's here anymore. I thought I just saw his name, so I thought he was. Hold on, uh, let's go back. To, where is? Mikey, I'm getting confused. Here we go. Yes, ChatGPT. Oh, are you there? I thought I thought you went there. I couldn't. Okay, so um, so so this I was just explaining earlier how you, how so this is how I sometimes use Chat um, um, ChatGPT or an AI to 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 help you make all the keywords sound more natural. It gives you a lot of ideas. So I so my I wrote this very quickly online um, just to show Barney. So write article five hundred words on, psych, on psychic medium must include these terms and then colons. I use colon, semicolons. Those are the actual phrases that Google uses, like you see on my Word document, as I was showing you just five seconds ago. Uh, that's, those, so I tell it, you uh, use these subheadings, and I give them, and I say, must include these subheadings, and I, I force it to, to do kind of what I want to do. So that was just a quick one I wrote, just off the top of my head with two keywords. So the keywords were psychic medium and spiritual card readings. Okay. It, they, it used it in the heading. Here it is. Okay, it used it in the first the first line. Google likes it. See, look, psychic mediums, um, and then it, I only gave it two keywords. So that's how you can, uh, if you if you're out of ideas, chief, you can use uh, go find the keywords. Like I said, I would use spiritual advice. I don't feel quite comfortable with psychic. I know it appears on some some places, but purely because that's the only option that's available. So you you get the keywords at all that that. So, and you can just say write 100 characters let's say i don't like instagrams that you can only write like in the in the, the bio you can only write like x 300 characters or something so you say you know write x amount of words w including these keywords did you see what it spits out you go and you rewrite it you make it yourself but you make sure these keywords are in there then when google that like we go back to 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 this like i was showing with chief uh, where am i so those keywords that are on those profiles, uh, uh, I need to change now to this browser. Hang on. There we go. So we go back to you. So when your keywords are on those profiles, depending what you search for, they could come up here. So if you had linked Shamanic Awakening and Chief Chief Mokiwi, Mokiwi, <laughs> cannot pronounce it. Um, if, if you link those two, that's those will start coming here because you you're very well known. So if you search for Chief Maki, okay, people are going to start finding you for Shamanic Awakening. When they search for Shamanic Awakening, they're going to start finding Chief as well. So this is how this is how it works. These are the breadcrumbs. Uh, so I'm glad actually Chief came along because this is this is a very good ex uh, uh, example because it's easy to find him. He's you know he's famous. <laughs> so he's, he's all here but no but like like I said to you I could only find you on Twitch hold on I think we went forward and backwards I could only find you on Twitch with one video that you actually use it in the title see I, see I find you on Instagram SoundCloud and then finally on Twitch like the, it's not even you I don't, that's not even you there. okay I found you here there's Shamanic Awakening I found you on YouTube, but I'm not finding you on Twitch. Even though I've included, you can't see here because of my, even though I've, hold on. That's not the right, hold on, that's the wrong, oh wait, it's it's got the wrong browser, hang on. I've got three browsers open, um, I need this one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, even though I, I included Twitch, Okay. Uh, okay. It's, fa it's found something associated with Twitch here. This is, but this is on LinkedIn. So, like, if if, if you need you need you need to pick it back on your 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 fame on being known. So, like, if if I take Twitch out, it doesn't find you on Twitch at all. Except it only when, I remember we found the one video. If I type in Twitch. Then it found the one the one video somewhere, but it still finds everything else. Um, that's a missed opportunity. It finds you, yeah, YouTube because you know everybody knows you on YouTube, but nobody knows you on on Twitch. Yeah, so so that's that's how you build. If you're not famous, this is how you you at least 
put yourself out there. And I keep hammering this, especially like people, Barney and other people. I keep hammering on this because if you don't do this, you, nobody knows who you are. Like I was, I was, I was joking with Barney. I said, like, you know, but, it, but it's like with everybody, you have to kind of have the same name. Like you have, you have a Googleable, a Google, a Googleable name, Chief. Okay, shamanic awakening, you're getting there. Now, if you link the two together, you've got a powerhouse there. So, the, um, in fact, you know, if, if you had, if if you had, if I had kind of spoken to you before, um, before you start your channel, said I would have said, use Chief Mocky. That'd be absolutely you just, like create a channel called Chief Mocky because like it's going to blow up. You know, some far out pictures. I mean, God. yeah, but you see, but that was. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to do that. <laughs> now I have to see. <laughs> Look, there you are. He's a petty savage terror. See? He's famous. <laughs> because he's used the same name on, on Twitch as he's used on Facebook. Very good. Very good branding. Where, 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 is, where are the skeletons? Look, uh... And that's Paddy Miller. I don't know if that's you or not. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to dox you. I was just looking to see. But that's good. So you've you, you've got a connection between Musa Paddy, already. Look, uh, I think does it find you on Twitch? It doesn't seem to have found you on Musa Paddy. You see, but it's too long to type. Like most of us would just refer to you as Muso, which is too short for Google. Uh, but Muso Paddy. So, but what is it? Is it on here? Wait, hold on. Is it you? <laughs> Uh, I'm not finding you on Twitch, which I don't like. Let's try music. What's it? Music Paddy Savage. You see, you're still not coming up on Twitch. Why? Why are you not coming up as Twitch? I mean, it's fairly, it's a fairly un, 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 you know, it's not a very common name. Like shamanic awakening is very, very common. If you can link it to, if you can link shake, well, if you you must, if you link shamanic awakening to chief, boy, you've you've got your fucking Google eating out of your hand, because now suddenly they know chief is well known, they know people look for chief, and now he's got shamanic or shaman attached to his name, so they're gonna go. They probably will be interested in this, so they will show it. You already have the SEO in. in uh, there I am, where, where, but you, oh yeah, but you see, but I had to search for the full name, I don't know why, okay, what, what is your profile look like, <clears throat> um, they've changed stuff on Twitch, I can never find what I'm looking for, now I know my profile's not the best example, <laughs> I'll be honest, <laughs> now, see, this is the first thing you need to do, hi, I'm Patty. no, I'm user Paddy. Okay, you must put that in there, user Paddy, because people are going to know you as user Paddy. I'm almost sure most people will know you as user or user Paddy. It's not in there. It's in the name, so you you do it is in the name, but you want to put it in there somewhere, even if it's at the end, like you know, um, you may know me as as user Paddy Savage Terror on Facebook. So it's in there. It's not like, hey, I'm user Patty. <laughs> um, it's not corny, but you, you link to something else. You refer to something else. Like, are you on, do you, you see, do you have, no, you see, you're not linked to Facebook. And I don't, I, maybe you don't want to link it to Facebook. So I get that. Okay. Why are you not linked to Facebook yet? Because when we search for user Patty, the first thing is Facebook. That's what you're most famous for. Why? Why? Kid, put it in there. <laughs> Again, unless you don't want to be linked to it. It could be, like, I don't always link Facebook stuff because I was pretty political on it. <laughs> so I don't have the luck on a lot of stuff. I mean, it's easy to find, but, like, I don't generally link to it because I don't want to scare people off. You're not active, but you're you're being found there. Do you see that you, you um, it's not, it's not to force you to be active there, but this is your, this is your first hit. This is, yeah, but it's your first hit is Facebook. So you want to link Facebook, just the name. You want to link this, the, the name to here and here. So you want to have, you, you, want, you, you, you want to like, you want to piggyback that the fact that we can find you on Facebook. To piggyback that, that's the breadcrumb that can, that 
there's a there's a there, that Google knows that this Musa Paddy is the same as the Musa Paddy on Facebook. Because right now, when I search for Musa Paddy, it doesn't go to Face, it doesn't go to Twitch. I have to type the whole name in. So I want where are we where are we, there. We I want to type in Musa like now it might show me because I've already been searching for it. Look, see, we, you got uh, Paddy Savage Tarot PDF. I don't know if that's associated with you. If it's not. You may want to create a document called Musa Paddy PDF and put it up on a website somewhere just because people, for some reason, I don't know if it's you, uh, but people are searching for it. That's an easy one for you to do. Yeah, I don't like it. It's very dull. <laughs> I mean, but but it's not, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a website. Like I, like I was showing you earlier with the Google pages, just create a page that, that ha for example, ha like for some reason, let's see who that is. Who's Musa Paddy Savage uh, PDF? I don't know why. I don't know why they were suggested. They don't take everything as gospel. Sometimes it's just Google doesn't always. I don't know why. Okay, but it's finding it. So, so, but if you create a simple, uh, um, you create a simple uh, 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 Google page. Remember, like I was showing you earlier. Okay, and you put these tags on there. Again, you put on there Musa Savage Terror, Musa Patty Savage Terror. Uh, and you break it up into words, <clears throat> and you have it as so you so you know you say hi, welcome to Muso with spaces, Muso Paddy Savage Terror as the heading, welcome to Muso, and then at, at the bot, and then in the description you then write you might know me and you put it as one word. You might you probably know me as Muso Savage Paddy Terror on Facebook and on Twitch, but then you put you don't have any spaces. So you, so then instead of typing like this. Okay, because most people will type spaces. Okay, then you type. Okay, then you then you then you take you take it with. Uh, hold on, there's nothing I can copy paste here. Yeah, then you take you. So you have two variations. You have the one with spaces like this. Hold on, you can't see because I'm under there. That's like the title of the Google page. They are free. Okay, that's the title of it. Then inside the text, you have it written like that with no spaces. So you can even put like. You might like this. Uh, you might know me as. Hold on, I've taken out the thing. On face. Uh, just as an example, I'm not saying this is good or bad. And Twitch. Then you would write that in, in the text. So now when you Google it, it goes, oh, music page. Wow. Okay. So I've got I've got an at here. You don't have to necessarily use the at. I'm just using it to make it sound less SEO-ish. You know, sound more natural. So you, uh, or you, you wouldn't even say you might know me. You say me. You know me. You know me as uh, and Twitch. Or you know me on Facebook. You know, you, you, know, you want to just get those keywords in there. So now you've got music paddock. Uh, <laughs> And I'm just going to call you Music Paddy. On Facebook, on Twitch, and on Google Pages, three different things. So when I go back here and I search for, now I've removed the, oh, let's just refresh. So when I'm searching for Music Paddy, I'm going, the psychic reader. How do you spell psychic? Look, you see, it's, it's even trying to push me. Let's see what comes up. Look, there you go. It's found you. So if, if I don't know where, how I can get a reading from you, look how I found you. Muso Paddy, the psychic terrorist. There you go. Okay, This is how people find you online. Same for Shaman. I'm just now using Muso as an example. There you are. For some reason, it loves you on Facebook. So you need to, you, you need to piggyback that success that you've had on Facebook to Twitch. So you need to bring them together. And then you go back to your Facebook group and say, and you and in the description of your your profile and your pages or whatever it is that it's going to I, I haven't got to, to the page, you need to then there also link to Twitch and say listen you know if you, you know if you're still you know if you're still in this group or profile or whatever it is, know that I'm streaming live on Twitch as and again and you put you use the words Twitch and you use uh, I'm still user Patty with spaces I'm still user Patty uh, Savage Terror with spaces. And you can find me as no spaces at and put the, 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 uh, Twitter, uh, the, the Twitch, and then you put a link. So then all of those keywords, like if I'm searching for Musa Paddy, I'm going to find those things. But it's weird. But when I search for Musa Paddy, I didn't expect to find you. And there you are. 
Okay, so if I if I was on your stream a while back and I, <clears throat> I hadn't been back and I couldn't remember like what your stream was, whatever, well, I just wanted a private reading. Look, private tarot. Look, you 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 are actually being googled. Look, there aren't that great, there aren't that many hits there aren't, Okay, to be honest. But if you go into your Facebook group or, or profile and your Twitch profile and you put that in there, eventually you, it, you will be found for this. Music. Now, now th th it's a very long shot, people actually searching for you. But this is what I would do. If I wanted a reading from you and I'd lost touch with you, okay, well, I couldn't remember where you were on Twitch or where I'd seen you. Let's say, and I just, I, I remember, because Musa Patty is quite a catchy name, you know. I would search for Musa Patty. And look what it prompts me to, to search for. I don't know why it's, it's a PDF. Somebody typed it in and Google decided it was important. Uh, but like, this is how people will find you. And this works for everybody. It's not to say that any rent, like if I just type uh, psychic reading, it's not going to find you. Okay, I'm sorry. It doesn't find me either. <laughs> it finds me if I put my name in it. Uh, but that's as good as we can go. But the paper trail is done. That's the point. And then Google starts to know who you are in a good way. So it knows you as a, a person of interest. And then you have page, like on Google Pages. And if you have if you have the if you if you if you're willing to do a web a basic web page, they have a record of that. So when we search for user Paddy, and if you you know, this is the whole the whole the whole thing about SEO today has been to teach people how to start using at least a little bit of SEO. Eventually, over time, like, for example, like, there are things that, like, um, I'm trying to think of things that I would be searched for on Quora. Um, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I can't think of it. But the, people find me f on Quora all the time because of, j just because I, the, the post is old, the information was liked and had a lot of likes. So when Google, when, when you type things, I'm trying to think of something like, okay, how do I succeed on amazon kindle uh, let's just try it a random and then i'll just add quora because otherwise it, it, it's how to succeed in kdp see like there's a there was a chance i might come up on that i don't remember i've written about it so let's let's just write joe Roderick. okay just just to show you how it works i don't know what that is i can't remember I've been doing this for years. I can't fucking remember. I might be on the page. <laughs> I can't remember. There we are. There we are. See? Do you see how you see the potential? Now, obviously, I searched that term with my name because I'm not famous enough. But some of my questions do. How many people have had success with self-publishing their books? Now, the keywords are there because there will be about Amazon. Um... The key would see there will be there will be the keywords there because I'm look I get a lot of views on on Quora I get I can't harness it to make money for the life of me I make like every every couple of months I make like ten dollars um, I get about ten thousand average of about ten thousand views on Quora so I am somebody I don't know why but I'm somebody so like I'm an authority I'm a firm believer that books should be physical uh, yeah but you see that's your belief. So that's got nothing to do with business. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic or facetious. I'm saying that's got nothing to do with business. This is, this is all just business. And almost no one goes to a bookstore and browses a bookstore anymore. They just don't because they don't exist. Most Amazon shut them all down and then put up their own bookstores. <laughs> so that's the thing. This, this is all just how people find you because otherwise, I mean, you don't have a shop. You don't have... Um, you're not in a shop, so no one in Dublin is going to walk past you and go, "Oh, look, it's 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 a terrorist." I'm going to go in. So you have to have, you have to if you want to do it as a business, you have to find ways to get people to find you. So you have to use the ways that people use to find you. That's why I'm using all of these examples. Like this is not something I built overnight. I, I'm not logged in here. I don't think. Uh, where's my name? Um, so you can't see my dashboard. <laughs> I suppose I could open up the other browser. Look, I've got 2,000 followers. I stopped following people because I can't be bothered. <laughs> the, I, I'm pushing Cartomancy Tarot. 
that's you see why it's got the two tags i'm pushing that one i'm trying to i was trying to see if i could get it to work not so much uh but you see like now let's let's say look let's say this let's see we let's see we search for this on google without my name how the see <laughs> <laughs> now obviously I've, I've taken the exact title of of the thing obviously you know but i'm the first one we we were there for hours they were apparently so captain i did atlanta. hold on I, oh in atlanta oh i see what you're saying yeah i don't have any books anymore because well, i have a few because i had to give everything up i had thousands i'm talking about thousands of books i, I mean if you had to lay them all in a row it probably have like i don't know 10 meters of running of books like 10 meters of books side by side and i've only got a few now left in storage i've only got very expensive books that i had um so i had to give them all up the the first time when we had the flood in the ceiling and it ruined half the stuff it was in the spare bedroom um i had i, I decided then i was gonna get rid of all fiction i only kept my very f uh, fond fiction like i had all the harry potters i had lord of the rings i had uh, my very favorite authors I had. <clears throat> then when I immigrated, I had to get rid of everything. I had to get rid of books that were 30 years old that I, like breaks my heart, my architectural books. Beautiful, beautiful books. I do hope that some student found them and got them for, for you know, probably for dirt cheap. <clears throat> so I'm unlikely to ever have a library again. Purely because I don't want to. Because I might have to move again and it's such a mission. So I have, I literally have I have this one because uh, Barney's guides wanted me to read it. And then I read it. I said, what the fuck did I pay for this for? I mean, I know all this stuff. <laughs> Grieve No More Beloved from, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ormond McGill, which is very great. It's, this is a fantastic book. I used to I used to get people to try and read this book. Uh, it's about the afterlife. I don't call it the afterlife, but that's easy way to explain. I have that. I have a terror book somewhere. I have three books. No, there's nobody else. No, yes, they're still in the packets. <laughs> they're still as I packed them. There's this one. <laughs> the Radiant Tarot. Because <laughs> I've got this deck, so I decided to buy the book. Um, well, I've still known. And I got this one, which is still in the, in the paper. This is a very, very old paperback. Um, I, I used to show it all the time in Ireland. Because I tell people, you should, you should, this is the book you should read if you can find it. It's still got the tissue and everything. Uh, I just, I haven't, got, I haven't got any books, so I just kept it in the. In the, in the, in the <laughs> I'm, I'm wrapping a book from 1974. It's so tatty. The paperback when I was leaving when I was leaving um, Cape Town, I've, I've just found that there's no fucking way I'm giving up anything more. So I shoved this in my suitcase. It's a very old tatty book. You can see it's like like look look at the edges. It's, it's like it's I'm, I'm very very gentle with it. This is the book's called When I Say No, I Feel Guilty. It's it's a um, like a sales technique. And I've advised, it's actually on my list, I said, you should read this. The people who are pushovers, and uh, so I just, it's very old, so I just keep it in the tissue paper. This is how I brought it from Ireland. When I left, when I left Cape Town, I just shoved it in my suitcase. I literally just shoved it in, and then I thought, yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually, I think it's from 1974. So it's just a cheap paperback. It's never going to last. So I've, I haven't got a library, so I just, yeah, I'm gone. So I've got three books to my name. I don't even mind books. So yeah, so I'm unlikely to ever really. I, I I never say never, but like, I had I had all the books that I loved, and like now I don't have them anymore. So yes, the Library of Esoteric Range. <clears throat> the, 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 so yeah, so this is like what I'm saying is you've got to leave the the breadcrumbs. So like that's why I use Muso and I use Sh uh, Shaman. Uh, Bonnie hasn't got a presence. I keep telling him. And I say, you've got to make a presence. I keep explaining this to you. That's why I said, you know what? We're going to do this live. Because then other people can watch the video. And they can also learn at the same time. And it gives me something to talk about. <laughs> it gives me something to talk about. Because I thought I wanted to stream, but I didn't know what I was going to do. So so think of it always like breadcrumbs. And you, you've you got to you've got to give the exact phrases that they want. So like Musa Paddy is a thing for you. Okay, It's a thing for you. So you can you can piggyback on that. Because people searching for Musa Paddy... Are going to find more so if you create an instagram account i'm not saying you have to okay but if you do always use musa paddy savage tarot now because it's something that's identifiable if you like i showed you if you just type and let's do let's do an anonymous browser 
<clears throat> now I have to switch. Let's try and let's try and see. Okay, so an anonymous browser, not as final. It's, it's picking up a lot of Musa stuff. Okay, but this is a different browser. This is the this is not the Google browser. So let's go to Google. I always use Google because that's where everybody goes. I don't like it. I don't use it, but that's where I search it. Okay, so it wants to do. It wants you to be a moose. Hold on, I haven't switched the browser. Yeah. They want you to be a moose. <laughs> but look, the very first one, again, I've used an anonymous browser, so it's technically not reading my browser history or, you know, or who I'm following on Twitch. Okay, so just Muso Paddy is searchable. Now, it's not a, people only search for it if, they, if, if, if they're looking for you. However, you've already got that anchor. So you can, you can, you can now go and add tags to it like psychic medium but whichever one suit you you go to google you research it and you start adding them into your profiles not just as a post the post works well because it it it, it, it has the a current date but you always got to put it into your profiles so if i i, I mean at least you don't care you're not interested in making money or getting private readings and this is a waste of time for your music i'm just simply using it as an example of how you you begin to build a presence yes a user yeah i know Oh, Savage is your surname. I, I, I thought I, that was this is a strange name. You know, so it sounds like you're going to beat them to death with a with a terror pack. That's why. I, that's why I saw it. That's why. That's why I said to you, if you do, if you create a a, a website, is maybe just use Musa Paddy. You know, um, uh, but I, now I understand. So so yeah, I mean I know Muso. I, I figured that one out. I figured, but it's still an unusual name. So it it's a brand. It's a brand that you can use for yourself because no one has it. You are the first one that comes up when we search for it. So if you create a brand, so whatever you do from here on out, uh, let's say you, you take up uh, toenail painting, something, you know, anything. Any, if you want to create an identity around yourself, business orientated, you always use Muso Paddy or Muso Paddy Savage. Maybe not terror, you use Muso, <laughs> Muso Paddy uh, Savage toenails. Or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you create, you always use Musa Patty Savage because Google already knows who you are. So you want to piggyback on that. So if you start any kind of business, I mean, and this is inappropriate. Let's say you were going to be, I don't know, the heart surgeon. <laughs> probably a bit weird to be operated on by Musa Patty. You know, you're probably going, yeah, <laughs> this guy's not legit. <laughs> um, so you see, so now you could also create a little page where you do a little bit of research about the viking clan do you see how you get google to find you again if you want to if you're not interested obviously this is a waste of time but if you had a little mini website or a couple of pages on google okay then you you, you write you write the main article is about the clan the savage clan okay but then you write into it that you are part of this clan and you do tarot and your name is musa patty T savage tarot on twitch so then people are searching for the clan, they go, wow, that's kind of interesting. I wonder, I wonder what he's like. I'm getting, you, you need to do this. Oh, there's a message for you. I don't know what it is. Musa, you, you need to start thinking about this. I don't know. Some, somebody's here. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't talk to them. Uh, this is very important. Whatever I'm saying now is very important. You need to, you need to seriously think about this. This is a key to your freedom. I wish I, I wish I understood what they were saying. But when I was talking about this, the last few sentences, this is when I started getting a, a flow of energy. You need to you need to consider. I'm not saying you have to do it, okay? Psychic search, uh, but this is something you need to consider. And I think it's yeah, this is something to do with your clan. Very agreeing. Oh, wherever it is, thank you. Uh, something to do with your clan. You need you need to make. You need to make a connection with it for some reason. I, I, well, I don't know why I'm getting tears. Um, I don't know. I wish I understood what the fuck they were saying. You, you need this. There's a link there that's to your benefit. I don't know if it's business or if it's just 
going back. To, I know you're big on going back to your roots and stuff. Um, but there's a link there somewhere. There's a link for you to figure out. There's a link there for you to figure out. So, and that was to do, when you wrote, it's a Viking clan with my ancestry going back to the building of Dublin, savage. So, yeah, there comes the energy again. There's something, there's something there. I don't, I don't know what it is. You, you would have to figure that out. But there's a connection there that, that, that is of benefit to you. Um, my suggestion would be to, like I was saying, do like an article, do a bit of research about the clan, about you, about where you came from, about your roots, about your Viking roots, not your fucking colonial, you know, roots. Those, those, are, those, those are not Irish roots. Those are colonial roots. Um, and the, you, you might be able to link that up to your to what you do tarot. You might, you might get more of a following. I don't know if you want to build a business around it. That's what I would, uh, that's what I, as I was saying those things, that's when I got the, the rush of energy. So I, yeah, whatever that means to you, that's up to you. But the music, the, the Muso Patty Savage works. It's already working. Even on an anonymous, like you saw when I, when I, you can see it's all purple. That's the anonymous window. As anonymous as it is, I don't know exactly, I'm, but it's a lot better when you're trying to get completely, well, at least as completely as possible, um, uh, random results not based on what because every time you search google is profiling you so, so like the more i search for myself the more google is going to so show me about me so it's not an accurate um like i've never searched for you so this is an accurate search result that found you you know yeah it was i wasn't expecting it i just sort of hmm. I don't know what they're talking about. So I, I just I just talk until they, the energy comes in. Okay, there's something to something with this, whatever it is, whatever the fuck I'm saying, there's something in there that you have to figure out because I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I do channel. I just don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what they're saying. So, uh, but, you, you know, I mostly just talk directly to the soul, my soul. So that's where my information usually comes from but when when i get when i get a flood of energy like that then then, then whatever i'm saying as soon as i start saying something of like it's coming again but i think that's my more my imagination than anything else but when i'm talking about something very important that you need to figure out is because i don't know what it is